And welcome everyone to this week's episode of uh, Omega Dawn, our Frontiers Alpha Hawks RPG. Um, it's been a while since we played last. Um, I've been off doing some medical stuff and other people have been off doing other stuff, other things as well. So, uh, but we're back um, and uh, raring to go. Um, so welcome everybody who watches live or is going to watch on YouTube either way. Um, because it's been a while since we gamed last, um, we'll, uh, I'll give everybody a brief rundown of, of where we're up to. Um, you're on the planet Karatar, um, uh, and in a nutshell, there's a, a madman uh, bent on uh, wiping out all Vrusk life, but uh, by, with a biological weapon. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he hasn't done his research properly, um, and all life on the planet will be wiped out. Um, the uh, the posse is a party. The uh, has uh, travelled to um, a moon base where the big bad guy is uh, residing, um, and has attempted to stop a uh, the missile with the biological agent on board. Um, the missile did launch. Uh, whether it's got enough fuel on board to make the atmosphere and therefore cause um, Armageddon or not is a whole other issue. Um, so the uh, the group have decided to go and see if they can actually um, get to the main control computer and possibly divert the uh, the trajectory of the missile as a as a second backup or even blow it up in space possibly. Um, so um, everybody, if you look at the map where the arrows are, that's where everybody is at the moment. Um, you were planning on heading over towards uh, area 22 uh, to the right. Um, and that's where I believe everybody stands. Now, uh, I don't think everybody's healed, or they could be healed. I did, did, we, did do, we did do some first aid, I believe. Um, I think but he has you, the last hand, is I know Babu needed it, and he's at 75. Yeah, yeah but yeah, it's yeah. all good. All right. I think that's uh, how we ended it, basically. Yeah, probably. Does that, if anybody, um, does anyone want to add anything to what I've just gone through? And please do if you want to. Uh, Sarayes is injured, but Jazz is pretty good. Okay. Sarayes is down 24 points. Well, that's, Ooh, a minor, minor. that's a minor surgery if you need it. Yep. Well, it's actually a major, but, you know. Yeah. A poke in the eye, then, perhaps. A poke in the eye. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, minor and then first aid. Well, first aid, first aid, minor. Yeah. yeah. And then minor, yeah? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. It's a success, so you should be fully healed. Uh, don't forget to knock off the bio court, please, Doc. And, 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 and anesthetic, please. One anesthetic, please. Thanks, Doc. De nada. So, as I said, you're in the uh, you're in the outer foyer area of the complex to the left of the uh, of the map there. Um, had we searched 19, 20, 21 office? Yes, you have, um, and you found uh, well, um, twenty one was a was a luxurious suite. Um, 20 was a computer room, um, where there was an unconnected, there was an unconnected transceiver, uh, tuned to Karatar's data grid sitting next to the computer on the desk. Um, you did everything you needed to do on the computer, I, I think, uh, from memory. Kat, you're the computer expert. Uh, she has somewhat of a case of amnesia of what she did five minutes ago. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, but I do remember that we did some stuff and we found uh, the radio scanner back to the planet. Yes. Uh, uh, but we didn't find too much on this computer. Like we didn't, I, we didn't find, the note in my brain is that we didn't find what we were looking for and we're going no, to that's the next right. room. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There, there was a robot management and security and communications and information storage analysis and life support programs on the computer, but none of it seemed to be have any relationship to the missile. Yeah. Uh, and you would know that 
if the missile is under is under command of a computer, it would be using something like a robot management program to do it. Yeah, because yeah, that's what you use. Um, so yes. So why don't if my suggestion is that two people, maybe Jazz and somebody, go door nineteen, or and everybody else come around the outside so that we're not all bottled up. That sounds fine to me. I don't know who wants to stick with Jazz, Babu maybe, so that you're closer. Yeah, for, I think uh, Babu and Jazz, Babu for anything that's up close, and Jazz to reach out and touch something. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. And I'll okay. once again make Babu. Do you have a sonic sword? You got a force axe, don't you, Babs? What's that? What weapon force are you axe, carrying? Yeah. Force axe, yeah. Can I interest you in a sonic sword, though? Eh? Pushy talk, Babs. Yeah, that way you're not doing... Again, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, I can do that. You're going to get a sonic sword, are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll give him my sonic sword. That way you don't do half damage. It's... Are there any sonic forceps? Uh, it's plus 15 instead of plus 20 to hit, and you don't get your punch score. But, you know... Uh, no, but there may be a sonic screwdriver, Doc. Or we're playing a different game. <laughs> Actually, has anyone play, ever played um, Doctor Who RPG? Nope. Nope. Not a bad little, not a bad little game. No trouble is you've got to play companions. Only one person can be the Doctor. Ah. Same with the, same with the Indiana Jones RPG. Only one person can be Indiana Jones. Everybody else has got to be one of the supporting characters. That's one of the problems with the with the movie based RPGs. Only one person can be the star. Um, but uh, they're good games. They're not bad games. Anyway, all right. So um, Babu and Jazz are going out door nineteen, and everybody else is going out uh, towards the south. Is that right? Yeah, I think that they should yep. wait until we get to the corner or get into some interesting. What is the uh, damage for Sonic Four? Five die ten? Yeah. Four, is it? Is it five or four? It's five. It's five, okay. All right. So uh, you guys get in the, in, in the position on the corner there, yeah? Assuming got... there's not, nobody coming down either corridor, nope. etc. Nope, nope. Yet, nada, nope. Did that work for you, the, the link in chat? Uh, which link in chat? The Sonic nope. Sword that Can't I put in? Nope. Window no. with data source. Okay. Yeah, no. And, uh, I got. I, I already had the uh, sonic sword attack. I just needed to add the damage. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So, uh, what, what's the, so? Jazz and Babs are at the door nineteen. And everybody else is at the tip of the green arrow on the map. Where's everybody going? What's everybody doing? Uh, we're gonna go towards the door of twenty-two. Jazz okay. will let uh, Babs go first. Cerise is going to come over here. Yep, I got you. Folk is going to go there and, and uh, go prone. Okay. All right. Well, Babs, you make it to the door uh, without anything happening to you. Um, it does appear to be maglocked. Okay, That's so Cerise will go up to the door. Did, didn't okay. I open all the doors last session? Yeah, except that one. Oh, it's not not controlled by that system. Nice. No. Yeah, that one's not controlled by that system, mate. Sorry. Uh, so the answer is yes, all of yes, all except that one. And possibly ones behind it, if there are ones behind it. Well, it looks like Cerise oh, is going to have to open that. Yeah, I'll look for an alarm. Uh, no, there's no alarm on it. That you can see. And then I will try to open it. Alright, well it's a level four. 
and that's not good enough. All right, my turn. Just. <laughs> Just good enough. Just. Okay, so door is unlocked. Um, it looks like it slides to the uh, right from where you're standing. Okay, I'm going to go back to my position. <laughs> I did my job. Ceres will be there. Babs will be... What, are these two meter squares? Yes. So he'll be... Uh, I guess, well, there will be an empty square between him and Babs. So okay. Four meters behind Babs, six meters from the door. Okay. What about you, Jazz? That's where Jazz is. Oh, I thought you mean that was Ceres was. Sorry. No, Ceres is at the southern corner. All right. Well, can everyone... Can everyone in their own particular color put where they are on the map, please, with an arrow or a circle or something? So Jazz is there. You know what? I'm going to do a circle because that way it's way easier to move around. <laughs> You're there. I am assuming I'm opening the door, right? I'm assuming you are. Um, Dean, can you change Jazz's colour a little bit, please? It's a little yeah, bit too close you. to Vokes. And who's that back in the in the computer room? Just you me. Can. No, it's you, it's you, Doc. There we go. Staying out of the line of fire, where I should be. Fair enough. Makes sense. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Dan. Thanks, mate. Um, all right. So you're gonna open the door, then, Babu. Yep. So the door opens up. I need you to give me a reaction speed check, please. Okay. Only a little flat, but it's good. Um, there is a security robot about four meters in front of you. Um, and it's got the drop on you, and it opens fire on you. Um, as soon as I find that, now oh, there is. Um, with a laser rifle. Which it misses. It missed you completely. How... I'm uh, disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed too. Um, there's also a couple of uh, a couple of individuals scattered across the room in different places, um, who are using uh, desks and cabinets and things like that for colour. Uh, they also uh, Uh, only one of them, only one of them opens fire on you. And misses. Where's my combat tracker? There it is. So you've seen the bot, you've seen the guy, you've seen that guy, and you've seen that guy. Okay. So, um, I'll now get everybody to roll for initiative, please. What did the uh, guy shoot? Uh, he shot you with um, a, uh, what has he got? He's got a laser pistol. In fact, all three of them have got laser pistols. Okay. And the bot's got a laser rifle. So, Doc's got a seven. Well, oh, Doc, my initiative terrible. and reaction roll are about the same. It's good for me to be last. <laughs> yeah, he is, I suppose. Cerise is on a five. Vokes on an eight. Uh, 
Babs on a six. Cats on a 13. Way to go, Cat. Um, let me pull some tokens up. No, I don't really have any appropriate, do I? Uh, okay. Bloody Windows playing out with my system again. Oh, what am I going to use for the bot? I'll use that one for the bot. Okay. All right, that's basically where everyone is. Don't forget your face towards the top of your token. Oh, it annoys me when it does that. Okay, so um, I've got to do the, these guys yet. Hang on, sorry. Um, now, what am I doing? That's not right. That's what I wanted to roll. So the first guy takes a pot shot at Babu and misses. Cat, you're up. It really, Cat with Cat um, going through the computer system. Would she know that there's not a door down the other end? Uh, yes, she would know there's not a door down the other end. She would okay. have had this. She, she would have had the schematics up. Yeah, cool. Uh, I was just trying to think what would Cat yeah. do, and it would be find another door if uh, she yeah. didn't know that. Well, there was one, but uh, that sucks. Um, you know, you always hold your action. Yeah. I will do so because, I mean, she can see Babu's not quite in there yet. So no, okay. So yeah, so, she'll hold. She'll hold. All right. Till after Babu. Yeah. All right. So uh, end your turn. In the combat tracker. Okay. I'll make that a five. 
Uh, so the boss. Jazz, she, but Jazz was 17. Yeah, Jazz is 17. Is he? Oh, sorry. I don't know what his order is. Oh, I haven't got him mixed in. Hang on. <laughs> Jazz, you're up. Sorry about that. Missed him. I missed it. That was my fault. So between the bot and the person standing back there, uh -huh. is there one that's a better target for Jazz? Uh, um, well, the problem is Babu's in the road. So unless you move up beside Babu or past Babu, it's a bit hard to say. It looks like you have token movement on. Oh, did I? Hang on, sorry. Uh, lock the scale, unlock the tokens. How's that? All right, so if I move up behind him, is that good enough? Yeah, because he's, he's, he's small enough, he should have his shoulder. So you've got, you, you've got basically, if you can see them, you can hit them, basically. And you can okay, see all of the, them. But is but the guy the, behind, got, does he have good cover? He's got cover. Hit he's got cover. I'll right, just so shoot at the um, robot. At the, right, okay. What with? A uh, laser rifle on set on 10. Okay. He should have something for that. Well, let me. What is his laser skill? Beam weapon five. That sounds about right. Huh, okay. Oh, now I see it, finally. Okay. Uh, just the first one. And then the second attack. Which is wrong, but it's still a miss. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so the first one hit, did it? Yep, 53. Four, 53. Or 11. 11, because he's got an albedo screen. An albedo screen. Which puts that at 21. Right. Uh, he's had a go already. The bot's had a go already. Has the bot had a go? The bot had a go, hadn't he? Yeah, he missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he missed. So guy two we're up to, um, and he's going to shoot towards Babu with his laser pistol, taking two shots. First one hits. Second one hits. First shot does twenty-five points of laser damage. Second shot does. 20 points of laser damage. It's an albedo screen. Uh, it's one ECU per five points or part thereof. Okay, so basically that uh, would be... Nine ECU. Nine points. Yeah, nine ECU off. Yeah. Guy three also shoots at Babu twice. First one hits, second one misses. First shot does a further 30 points of laser damage. Okay. And Voke, your turn. All right. Is it 
really possible to shoot through Babu and Jazz? You know, it's always possible to shoot through them. Without hitting them? Oh, no, no. We said shoot through them, so, you know, through them. Like well, shoot around <laughs> them. Can I? No. No, not really. Not you haven't got you haven't got line of sight on anyone anyway from where you're standing. I know, but if I were to move closer, like behind Jazz or at the corner to the door, eh, probably not. Well, again, you can always hold your action. Yeah, I'll hold my action. Go team. Right, end your turn. End your team. End your turn. Doc, you want to do anything? Any, anything at all? At the start, yeah, I Doc? guess. Uh, well, we we hear shooting, so we'll move towards the sound of battle. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, step up and swing at the uh, bot. Okay. Oh, I'll move you forward. There we go. Um, and swing at the bot. That's uh, the bot. dice, isn't it? I don't have. Ten ten old dice. Yes. Uh, the bot has a skin suit as well as an albedo screen. But neither of those stop a sonic sword. That's right. None of them stop a sonic sword. You know one of the worst things about having this new kidney? What? I've good. Every now and then you'll get the intense urge, the intense urge to go to the bathroom, and if you ignore it, it's a mistake. <laughs> ah. Uh, finish up this. Like that. Yeah, like it's that's exactly what it's like. Uh, we'll finish up this this round, and then I have to go to the bathroom, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but so yes, that you, looks like a miss. Yeah, uh, it's that's a miss, mate. Yeah, sorry. Uh, did you add your mind? Did you add your fifteen into it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's a miss. End your turn. Therese? Um, yeah, Cerise will move up. And uh -huh. um, is, there a, is there a danger of hitting Babs if I shoot at the uh, robot? At the robot, yes, it's melee. Um, you can shoot at the guy against the wall. Okay. Um, who I haven't got labelled um, w without too much trouble. I will shoot that guy. Okay, well, he's got he's got some cover, so take some. We might have to take some. Uh, uh, both of those are misses, Oops. I'm afraid. And only one more time, not two. Yeah, more that's times. a miss as well. Yeah. Okay. So that's three misses, mate. Unfortunately, Cat, you've now held your action. You're still holding, or? Uh. There is room, by the way, to slip past Babu into the room if you wanted to. Because, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to see on the scar we've got, but there is room to slip past Babu and the robot if you wanted to, if anyone yeah. wants to, for that matter. Yeah, I think Cat was just going to uh, draw her sonic sword and Leroy Jenkins. Um, I don't know what that means. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, so, so she's just going to run in. Oh, is that what it means? There is a old wow meme. Uh, so what what size are these squares? Two meters. Two meters. Uh, six feet. Uh huh. Oh yeah, e easy. Um, you think that uh, r sort of dashing in, she could uh, sort of make it in here into cover. Uh, yeah, well, there's, there's cover everywhere, but yeah, you probably could, yes. What was it? What was it, What's the YouTube link, Babs? Leroy Jenkins. All oh, right. For your entertainment sometime. I'll yeah. look at it later. Um, uh, yeah, you can probably get and, there, mate. And, and probably not enough action left to take a swing at that guy with my sword. Oh, if you charge him, you is. But it, it, you, that does mean foregoing, foregoing some of the cover. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Let's All right, well. Up. Let's break them up. Okay. Well, that's guy three, by the way. Well, that's guard three, if you prefer. Uh, that's a hit. Thirty-two points. Shame it doesn't explode. Um, that leaves him on 
Cat would know, but they have pistols, right? Or she would know now. Uh, they no, they have yeah, they've got yeah. laser pistols, yeah. yeah. Pete, they don't have rifles, but oh well. Well, the bot does. Yeah. End your turn when you're ready, and that'll be Vogue's turn when that's the case. What are you doing, Vogue? Uh, I'll take my... I'll go right there and just say go team. Okay. Oops, that's backwards. That way. Oh, hey, you can actually turn my token. What do you know? Yeah, you hold the shift key down and roll the mouse. Ah. Roll the mouse around. Because you face the top, you face the top of your token, so which is why I've got people facing left and right. All right, listen. Um, uh, that's the end, that's the start of the next turn. Um, as I said, I have to visit the bathroom. Sorry. Um, so quick bathroom break, everyone. And I'll see you all in five. So should we figure out while well, we've got the moment? Any new strategy? Sounds like uh, Cat and Babs are going in melee. Well, if we get the our people uh, tied up, maybe you guys can work around and get shot with the other guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we have to... I, I should have moved in, too. But, yeah. how Did we hurt the robot much at all? Uh, well, I think we hit it with some laser shot. You did gassed it. But I missed. Dice yeah, aren't I think rolling I just... good for me yet. Okay, well, I'll move in and try to disable him. That's going to hurt. <laughs> well, folk and Jazz move in and engage those other two guys, and that kind of, he'll, have, he'll probably roll to see if they decide you're a more bigger threat doing that. Yep, it takes me two turns, but yeah. Be right back.
We all back? Yeah, I'm here. Everybody else? I well, assume everyone else is back. That's in which good. case, in which case, I'll get you all the roll initiative for the next round, please. Or round two. Matt back yet? Yep. We're rolling for initiative. Just waiting on your son, Daniel. Yeah, so um, Vogue said he's going to wait till the end of the, he'll, he'll move last. Not if I can help it. Okay, I'm good. That will be a fun. You're ready to need to attack. Sorry, guys. Uh, I didn't realize I was on mute. Uh, Cat, uh, you get hit for 30 points of laser damage. That's why I got a screen. Yeah, that's why you got a screen. Sorry about that. I thought um, I didn't realize you were. Um, mm. um, so, Babu, you were, you were in melee with the bot. That's a hit. Uh, 28 points, and the skin suit doesn't help. Which is annoying. Doc. I'd like to delay to the end of the round. Certainly. Done. Vogue. I'm going to delay too. Okay. Uh, guy one's going to shoot at Therese, actually. Um, uh, with his laser pistol. Taking two shots. First shot hits. Second shot hits. First shot does 22 points of laser damage. Second shot does... 37 points of laser damage. Cat? So, five and eight. Uh, yes and yes. Cat? Alright, she'll take another swing. Certainly. Nice. Not a crit, but nice. And the damage? Another 25 points. He's heavily, heavily wounded. 
Uh, and can you give me a quick, um, half intuition, half logic, please? Nope. Yeah, no, that's okay. All good. Uh, end your turn when you're ready. Okay, the bot um, is going to smash at Babu with its with his fists. For a miss. Ah, oh, two misses. I can't believe I missed you twice. <laughs> Jeff. All right. Um... Can Jazz move into the room? Uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah, so I don't know where he can get. Can maybe behind the robot or? Well, you can get to anywhere, almost anywhere you like, really. I mean, it's only two meter squares. Are you engaging this guy in melee? Yeah, he's going to uh, switch to his sword. Mm hmm. That's cool. Keep double clicking, but miss. Cerise is going to go for the robot with force axe. I know, only half damage. Vote. Hmm. Okay, I guess we will move here over to the next boat, and I haven't heard anyone cry out for for a medic. So, well, I don't have a. Uh, I will move then. There. Let me double check what my walk speed is to see if I can shoot or not. Uh. Um, you actually can't move in there. The doorway is effectively blocked by the melee with the robot. Oh, okay. Well, what I was about to, what I was about to say to you was, you can shoot down past there, but you'll be shooting in the melee with Jazz and the other guy. Can I shoot the guy in the back potentially? Who? Shoot who in the back? Yeah, that one. You can't see him. You, you can't. You, you haven't got line of sight on him because of all the stuff that's going on. Okay. Yeah, my then. fault. I should have moved in farther. Sorry. I'll just in my turn then. Okay. Initiatives, please, guys. For round three. Ah, uh, another high initiative. Cerise is on 10. Where are you? Cerise, I've lost it. There you go. Cat's uh, on 13. Babs is on 9. Jazz is on 12. Is that everybody? I think it is. Apart from the bad guys. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So the bot swings its fists at um, Babu. Oh, misses. I'm rolling shocking today. And hits. Uh, actually, that's a that's a potential knockout because it's one instrument. Um, oh no, it's not. It's a five. What am I saying? Don't be stupid, Matthew. Yes, it is because it's a level four bot. No, it's not. Right, okay. Um, it's bludgeoning damage, and it's 10 points of bludgeoning damage. So uh, skin suits will apply. All right. Oh, connect screens for that matter. 
Uh, the first guy, who's now in melee with Jazz, is going to shoot Jazz twice. For a hit and a hit. First shot does 16 points of laser damage, and the second shot does 26 points of laser damage. Vote. Uh, I'll wait till the end of the round. Okay. End your turn, thank you. Cat. You gonna uh, take this guy out? Yeah, hopefully. No. Not no, with that roll, it's a critical fail. Ah, critical fail. Roll another hit roll, please. Rip. No, you managed not to hit yourself. <laughs> okay. Yep. And anyone who's tried to use nunchucks knows exactly how that works. <laughs> Hitting yourself in the head with nunchucks. Anyone not anyone that's not done it hasn't used nunchucks before. Um, yes. You, you, swords are super scary. Oh, even you... swords are super scary if you're not careful. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how anybody thought they were a good idea. You have to be so skilled not to cut yourself with them. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. It depends on how you do it. Um, there are some. There are some basic. There are some basic techniques which will help you not to hit yourself with a sword. Oh yeah, it's when, I know, it's when I you. Know, it's when you start doing the fancy stuff like the twirls and the wrist wrist flicks and things like that that you get into trouble. I I just don't know how understand how anybody did that when they were tired. Like oh god yes w yeah, when, I don't when, when you were when you're like awake and everything but if like in the middle of a battle I don't know how that works yeah uh, it just just doesn't compute but well most of most of the battles in Europe most of the European battles uh, were more more bludgeoning with the sword than anything else you know what I mean ah uh, because they uh, weren't really, yeah okay uh, whereas the Japanese uh, and the Chinese fighting styles were more slash. Yeah. And they tended to be they tended to be over a lot quicker because the armor wasn't as you know yeah uh, so I think that's how they get away with it but I mean yeah I mean you you can stand there and hit someone over the head with a long sword or a bastard sword um, all day long if they're in armor because all you do is swing the sword back and forth and it's like bang bang you know whereas it's a different fighting style in in Japan anyway yes oh you had your go Jad in your turn when you're ready mate please Doc you're up next are you gonna wait or what Yeah I haven't heard anyone cry out. Okay. So end your turn when you're ready, and I'll put you down. Cerise. All right. Try to making trying to make room for Voke to come in. If I get uh, behind the robot, will that work? Yes, you can, and it gives you both of you a, 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 a flanking bonus of plus ten now. Or minus ten, whichever way. The, the benefit one, the bonus, the, the benefit bonus. Yep. Oh, critical hit. Oh, critical hit with a chance of shorting. Hang on, this is pretty interesting. That's 26 damage. Sonic Sword? No, four sacks. Uh, skin Suit Supply? Yep. So it's 13 for the Skin Suit and 13 for the bot. Uh, which makes it... Nine... And I have to make a shorting out roll, or knock, uh, the equivalent of a knockout roll, basically, because of your fantastically good hit. Uh, no, the bot does not short out, unfortunately. But there was a chance. Um, you missed your guy, didn't you, Cat? Yeah. Yeah, he's, that's why he's still alive. All right, two more, two more laser pistols at you, because he's got nothing else to lose. Uh, first one hits, second one misses, first shot does 22 points of laser damage. 22. Yep. Uh, or five, five SEU if you've got a screen up, which I believe you have. Yep. Babu! Don't forget, you get a 10% right. bonus. Can... All right. Frank. So, robot is now going to distract it a bit with Cerise, or...? It's still focused more on me. 
we still focus more on you, but he, but there is a, there is that flanking bonus, that distraction bonus, which was the plus ten I was talking about. The bot is now heavily damaged. And end your turn when you're ready, mate. All right. Uh, guy number two, am I on you still or have I come off? No, I'm off. No, you're good. Uh, guy, you're off. Um, I've, got no, I've got no visual indicator on the screen. That's the problem without changing the windows. And I've, I, haven't, I, need, I need two more screens. <laughs> that's just not a bad idea. I, so. I can't believe that you're spending ten fucking thousand dollars on servers. Sorry for swearing for the and, stream. And, 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 and not buying two And not buying two monitors. <laughs> yeah, well... I, I, I'll buy another monitor. I'll buy. It. Okay, I've, I've only got room on the desk for one more monitor, so I'll put another monitor in. See, normally, normally the 24-inch widescreen I've got is good enough for what I'm programming. It's only when I've got to juggle games that it, um, I won't a program with any less than three 24. Well, why, why do you, are you are you programming and testing at the same time? Yeah, browser open. I got a debug window open. I got my editor. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, I see, see, I don't use the I don't use a debug window because I don't have I don't have a PHP debugger at the moment, which is what I'm primarily coding in. Um, and um, if I, I I've got I've got uh, a browser open, but it's I, if I need to, I'll flip to it. But yes, I need another screen. <laughs> Which is a pretty good idea. I might go, I'll, I'll go and see what one costs. Uh, in the meantime, Guy Koo is going to shoot Cerise in the back. For a hit. And another hit. Uh, first shot does 28 points of laser damage, Cerise. And the second shot does 38 points of damage. Okay. Um, Doc, you're up, and so are you, Voke. Okay, well, I guess we can shimmy over there and... Uh -huh. Alright, so I, I will get in now. You can squeeze through now, yes. On the, yep, to there. And I'll take, uh, I think I should okay, take... Okay, let, 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 me, let me just tell you, if you stay there, technically you're in melee with the bot. If you move further in or further to the south, that's fine. You're out of melee range now. Okay. And what are you doing? Taking cover? Uh, no, I'm going to shoot the uh, the guy in the back. Shoot who in the back? That one. Guy two that just shot Cerise, Suri right? He's, yeah. Well, you won't be shooting him in the back. You're shooting, you'll be shooting him in the front. But do you want to take cover as well? I mean, there's plenty of desks and things to hide yeah. behind. All right, good. So, yeah, he's got some cover, so uh, have, a, have a shot, or whatever you're going to do. A single shot, because you moved. Yeah. Uh, that gets past, just gets past the cover. Is that a burst, or is that a... Uh, That's a single. I don't have time for a burst single. since I moved. Fair enough. Uh, and three points of skin suit, well, two points of skin suit damage, and one point of... Oops, that's the wrong guy. Can't have that. And one point of real damage. But now I can do a burst in this round. Yeah, maybe you will. Okay, initiative, please, guys, for round four. No, you won't, Bake. Not with that roll. <laughs> yep. Well, I've been rolling really high initiatives just to wait and drop down to one. I know. I know. That happens sometimes. That's the nature of gaming. Uh, Doc's on eleven. Uh, Cat's on a twelve. Who hasn't rolled yet? Cerise is on a nine. Did I get you, Cerise? No, I didn't. Yes, yep. I did. Oh. Uh, no, I got you. Yep, and yeah. eight for Jazz. It's Jazz I haven't got yet. That's what I missed. There we go. Right, the bad guys. Let me get the bad guys done. Uh, eight. Fifteen. And four and six is two, and seven and six is seven, and four and six is two. 
actually is anything on. Right. The bot, again, swinging at Babu with his fists. Pretty single-minded, this bot. Have you noticed? That's uh, for a hit, and another hit, uh, this is bludgeoning damage, so um, uh, so um, a skin suit supply. The first fist does six points, the second fist does 13 points. And that who, that who was that at, sorry? That was it, sorry, that was it, that was it, Babu, sorry. Okay. Uh, guy number two is changing his target from Cerise to Voke and taking two shots at Voke uh, and applying cover. That's a miss and uh, that's a hit, that one. So that's 34 points of laser damage against you, Voke. 34. Okay. 34. So seven. Seven SEA, yeah. Cat, you're up. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? Oh, well. Uh, Doc, you're, you're up next. You want to wait? Yep, waiting. Uh, end your turn and I'll move you down. Babu. Yeah, Must that's a hit. Up there, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's heavily damaged already, this bot, but there you go. Let's see what you do to him. Another 16 points. Ugh. That was uh, not very good rolls yeah. on the dice. Yeah. It was damaged. Uh, it happened. It happened. Um, probably trying to fend off his fist. Probably, yes. Um, when, you, when you're ready, end your turn, please. Uh, at the same moment as Babu was attacking, guy number one is shooting at Jazz twice. Uh, for a hit and another hit, that's 26 points of laser damage from the first one and 17 points of laser damage from the second one. That's against you, Jazz. At the same moment, Guy 3 is shooting at Cat in a desperate attempt to stay alive. For two hits. Uh, 33 for the first one. Laser, of course. And 25 for the second. Yep. Uh, Cer Cerise, you're up. All right. Once again with the... Once again with the force axe. Uh-oh. Um, tell you what, let's make, this let's, make, let's make this interesting. Babu, can you give me your reaction speed check? And you too, please, Cerise. All right. Can you roll me a can you roll me a damage roll, but halve it, please, Cerise? Uh, yeah, we'll half it manually. Whatever. Well, it's not quite the same, but that's all right. Uh, twenty-five points of force axe damage, Babu. Well, half would be twelve, right? Oh, didn't you? Oh, sorry, twelve. Yeah, twelve. Uh, twelve points of uh, force axe damage. Babu. And and so would take twelve of that, or. Uh, four sacks. Yeah, six, six, six for the yeah. six for the skin suit, six for you. Uh, you zigged when you zigged when when uh, Cerise thought you were going to zag. And you turn when you read Cerise, and it's then you're up for Jazz. Jazz. Uh, that's a miss, mate. Voke. All right, I will now do a burst at number, what's his face? Two, the one that's not engaged. Yeah, two. Yeah, he's just number two. I believe burst is 20. Plus 20 to hit, yeah. Let's, I'll take some off the cover, of course. 
Yeah, uh, yeah that misses me. Sorry. And then can he uh, use? Does the burst take his entire turn, or can he reload? No, it's just, it, you get one shot, one burst per round. I know, but can I reload? No. No. Okay. No burst. It's a full action of a burst. Uh, Doc. Well, I hear a lot of fighting, but I can't get in there. Mm, that's okay. Uh, new shoes, please, guys. For round five. I think that's the third five I've gotten in this combat. Uh, it happens. Cat's on an eight as well. And Cerise is on a five. Uh, it's everybody. Yep. Okay. The bad guys. Whoops. Ignore that. Bad guys. I uh, see the bots on. And guy one's on. Uh, and the other two are on. And right. So guy two and guy three are both going simultaneously. Guy two is shooting at Voke. For a miss and a hit. The hit does 32 points of laser damage, mate. Uh, guy three is shooting at cat twice for a hit and a miss. Uh, the hit does 34 points of laser damage. And that's those two jazz, you're up. All right. Let's get him, get him, get him. Oh, there we go. Dead. And maybe I short him too. Oh. Uh, um, I, well, the, yeah, you do short the bot out. Well, that's, the well, that's not that's the, bot, the bot, that's a guy. No, it's a guy, sorry. No, you don't shoot him, that's guy one, isn't it? Sorry, my wrong, wrong guy. Uh, yeah, you do, shoot, you, do, you do short the guy out. <laughs> um, he falls to the floor. Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta remember to rage j jazz. Yeah, so does jazz. <laughs> <laughs> so that was guy one. Bring him out of the system. Uh, the bot swings its fists at Babu. Doesn't like you, Babu. You noticed? I noticed that. Alien's mute. Uh, only one hit, but it's bludgeoning damage and it's 11 points. So six for the skin suit and five for you. Doc and Voke going simultaneously, but Doc? Yeah. <sighs> You're waiting, are you? Yeah, well, I don't want to push past Babu, so... Okay. Yep, I okay, will... Okay, so... Folk. I will reload. And uh, take cover. Well, re re okay, reloading takes one action, right? Yeah. You are entitled to a single shot, if you wish, once you've reloaded. No, because then I don't get to do two bursts. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, no worries. If that's your turn, that's your turn. Babu, I believe you're next. I'm assuming you're taking out the bot. No, I assume wrong. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, Cat goes. I'm assuming you're taking out your guy too, Cat. Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> oh, hey. that's a good one. That's a good one. It's not a trip, but it's a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, your guy goes, uh, your guy goes, uh, down. So that's three off the loop. 
Uh, Angie Chan, when you're ready. Sharif, who at the bottom, Fania? Nope, yep, got to turn off the mic. Okay. Nope. Apparently all I can hit is Babs. <laughs> Uh, no, he's done, he's done, and he's done. So, initiatives, please, people. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Babu, sorry, yes, Babu and Kat, can you both give me half, half intuition, half, um, whatever I asked for last time, what was it? Inti inti half intuition and half, um, logic. Logic, yeah, please. Both of you. No. Babs? Sorry, uh, Jazz? Working on it. Working on it. Yeah, no. Yeah, that, there should be five more to it. Yeah, that well, that's, enough. that's gonna it's be still not going to be enough, yep. unfortunately. Seven, fourteen. That's not a bad roll for Therese. Yep. And the two remaining bad guys. Right. So, uh, what do you plan to do, Jazz? Uh, Jazz is, wants to go engage that other the guy by the door. Right. Okay. I had to ask because it may, it may have made an effect on what was about to happen. The bot swings its fist twice at um, Babu. Um, right. This is going to get interesting. It's a potential knockout in, in the works here. Um, oh, you take two points from the first the first fist, Babu. The second fist does seven points. So uh, take the damage off, please, as per normal. Skin suit and yourself. Once you've done that, let me know your, what, what, your, what your current stamina is, please. Forty-six. Right. You need to roll. You need to roll under your current stamina. Your current stamina, or less, to stay awake. Because apparently he hit you in the head. And he's out. He's out. He goes down. So Babu goes down. That's okay. The doc's there to give him a stimulating pat on the <laughs> ass. <laughs> Kick in the <laughs> ass, more likely. Jazz, you are going to move over to engage. I believe is that right? Yep. Are you charging? Um, Do you no, want to get an I, attack in? Yeah, I'm just going to attack. Well, that's a charge, effectively. Okay, I'm going to try to gotta, rage. You're going to try and rage. Okay, let's do the rage. I'm surprised you didn't go to the other side of him so that we can do the double team fun times. Oh, I moved it, so... Because okay, sure, surely it, it is obvious that Kat's going to jump in there too. Yeah, I'd rather be on the side by the door to keep him from going through the door. Yeah, yeah. that's what I figured. Uh, well, you guys are free to move your tokens within reason. I, I get to veto it. Uh, that's a miss from Jazz. Cerise, you still got an angry bot in front of you. Yeah. Bots don't get angry. Yay. Ooh. Ooh, that's a potential short too. I guess I did get one of those on the 
spot before. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. The bot goes down. Nice. No, hang on. Uh, yeah, bot still goes down. Uh, 27 is uh, 28 is 14. Uh, so the bot, the bot shorts out and is no longer there. Uh, that was three. When you're ready to finish three, so you're right. Are you charging in, cat, or to the side? Yep, you are. Yeah, okay, you pick. There. Yeah, so you pick up a flank bonus too. Not that's doing you much good. Babu. Fill out. Oh yeah, you're still unconscious. That's right. Sorry, forgot about that. All righty. So let's see. Someone's someone's unconscious on the ground. I guess it's in, time yeah, to uh, in front of you even. Yeah, I think it's time for some first aid. Oh uh, well, uh, first uh, first actually, it's what it's in time for is a diagnostic roll first. Okay. Um, he's he's hurt, yes, but that's not why he's unconscious. He's taken one one too many blows to the head. Dane Bramage. Yeah, Dane yeah, Bramage. Well, we'll start uh, with so, the first aid anyway. Okay. So ten points back on your ten points back, Babs. You're still unconscious, and that's your action, Doc. Um, guy two. Uh, he's screaming at. He's screaming at Cat for being a traitor. Tra -la 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 -la. But turns to face Jazz. Nice. Uh, shoots Jazz once. Twice. <laughs> okay, the first shot does 22 points of laser damage to you, Jazz. The second shot's a critical. Fifty-four points Oof. of laser damage. Uh, so he runs out of SEUs, so that's minus 25, so that's 29 damage. Okay. Um, just so that I remember, I guess, Ryan, you would know this. Uh, does the Sonic Sword use up energy when you miss, or only when you hit? No, only when you hit. Yeah, okay, when good. you hit. Yep, sweet. Otherwise, I'd be running low of my 20 <laughs> SEU. Yeah, that's all right. Um, and so that's you, Voke. Well, you can, you, you, you can put a burst thing. You can put a burst in on that guy if you want. Please, no. I'll make sure the guy cat <laughs> cat killed is dead. I'll take my rifle butt and smack him in the head. All right, so you're gonna move out of there. Okay, yes, he's definitely smacked in the head. All right, uh, initiatives, please, guys. We're up for initiatives. Um, Yay! Need one from Babu. No, not yet. You'll go at the end of the round <laughs> if you bring two round. So seven for cat. You gotta get one of those fancy battle computers that automatically stim doses you when you get knocked yeah. out. They're good. They're good value. Uh, where are you, Cerise? I've lost you. There you go. Thirteen, fifteen for jazz. Doesn't change. Um, Vogue, you haven't rolled yet. Yes, you have. Who hasn't yeah. rolled for initiative? Cerise and Docs. No, the Cerise and Docs. And so cat, you doc. Unless you have. No, it's just a doc. Has Babu and da Doc. Mm. But Babu's and unconscious. Doc's so. And Doc's away from the desk, apparently. Uh, we'll just give him a moment to get back. So yes, come on. Who's um? Doc. Yeah. 
He backed up. You want to roll for him? Because I assume he's going to put a stem dose in Babu. Yeah. I oh, will. Anyone know where Janish's modifier is? Uh, let me zoom. It is six. Thank you. Uh, it's 11. Not that it makes that much difference. Jazz, you are up. All right. Yeah, that apparently you're still... alive, yeah. Apparently you're a race trader, cat. Better than Nobody being racist. Yeah. Uh, that's a hit, mate, with the, with, the, um, with the flanking bonus. Oh. Thanks for catching that. That's all right. All's fair in love and war. Now, that's a, that's a sonic sword. That's not a sonic sword, is it? That's a, um... Yeah, it's that a sonic sword. That is a sonic sword. Oh, so it's all damage. Right. Cerise. I guess I will join the party. In the melee? Oh, if I get a flanking bonus. No, you, you won't get a flanking bonus. Don't need doesn't it. Look, that doesn't look like you need it. <laughs> so that's half skin suit. So 13 to the skin suit. And 13 to the guy. Okay, he's heavily damaged. And turns his attention to the Vrusk. Yeah, I figured. Oh, well, come on. He's a, he's a speciest. He's a speciest, exactly. There we go. Ah, uh, Doc. Oh, I'll have to wait for Doc. So I'll just move on. Come back to him. Guy two. Is this guy actually a soldier slash security person? Or? He's, a secu he's a security guy. Why? Oh, I was just wondering, because props to him for being surrounded on all. <laughs> and not giving up. Oh, yeah, no. He's a fanatic. In fact, in fact, the three of you can give me a half intu intuition, half logic roll while I do this. Oh, you're back, Paul. Hang on a sec. Just hold on a sec, Paul. Yeah, sorry about that. I had a tire kicker. No, no. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, Cerise, he's got, a fanatic, he's got a fanatical fire in his eye. You, you can see that, Cerise. Yeah. Okay. Um, this guy swings his pistol at you to pistol whip you in the face. And hits you. And does 13 points of damage to you. That's a good hit. It was. Doc? You were okay, going well, to... Babs is unconscious, so I think he needs a little methamphetamine boost. A uh, stim dose, yes. Do I, have, uh, do I have to roll for that, or can I just give it no, to you? No, it's an administered drug, so if you, if you fail it, it's going to cause problems. But the chance of you failing are pretty slim. Yep, I'd say no. Uh, okay, so that's you. So, Babs, you're back up, but only, you're on one. Cat, you'll go. Cat and Vogue simultaneously, but Cat, you're in combat, so let's do you first. Yeah, nah. Vogue? Uh, I'll go to the guy up here and bash his head in. Okay. Okay, Babu? You are lying on the ground. Um, Doc's just injected you with something. What are you doing? Well, I will probably stand up. And okay. Try to get my bearings. Look at Doc. Uh, anything else? Sorry, what well, if you want to hang around, we can we can patch you up a little bit more. You seem a little bit weak at the knees. Yeah, I, I could use a little patch. All right, so you're going to hang around, are you? That's fine. Yeah. Uh, in that case, initiatives, please, guys, for round eight. Uh, Babs is on 15. You're going to have to wait, Babs, looks like. Uh, 11 for Cerise. Cat's uh, on 12. This guy, this guy is, um, he's in full fanatic mode, by the way. Um, he's, he's frothing at the mouth uh, 
um, uh, launching himself at, at Cerise with all with all 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 attack mode and screaming race trader at race trader at cat. And falling for jazz. Okay, and the remaining guy is on. Okay, so Babu, you're going to have to wait until at least after dock. Yeah, I'll wait until dock. No, so let me, let, me, let me do that and put you down to nine. That'll put you behind the dock. Uh, jazz. Sword. Hit. Slash. Uh, and before he can launch himself at Cerise, <laughs> before, he, before he can launch himself at Cerise, um, he's cut down by Jazz. Good. So there's no one left alive, looks like, at this stage. Uh, are you guys going to be um, going through these guys' equipment or not? I can use power clip. Yeah, I could use a power belt. Jazz could. Uh, well, guy one, uh, all three of them had backpacks. Uh, and they appear to be somewhere in the vicinity of 50% used at the moment. Um, the bot also had a backpack and it, it, it's around about 20% used. Um, and all of them have skin suits. Uh, the skin suit on guy three is undamaged. The other three skin suits have all taken some damage. I'll take the one. Off of guy three. Anyone need a fresh skin suit? Any grenades? No grenades. I have a handful of grenades. Uh, let me see if Jazz has another belt pack. Mm -hmm. He needs more on his screen. I think everyone pretty much needs uh, to a first aid. Yeah, Babs is going to probably need yeah, maybe bad, surgery. Yeah, first aid. Yeah. Not me. I'm all good. Jazz and Cerise could use first aid. I'm gonna uh, uh, jazz. borrow Babu's forsats since I lent him my sonic sword. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Since, you know, I forgot to say, hey, actually, I need a melee weapon too. Yeah, <laughs> funny that. Why you guys are doing yeah, first Babu's aid? Down 19 still. Yeah, well, you've already had a first aid, so that's a minor surgery for you. It did the minor yeah. surgery. Mm -hmm. So that's so 30 back for Jazz. And then a first aid for Cerise. Yeah, Cerise mm -hmm. got a stab in, in, the, in the thorax. <laughs> Sorry, Cerise. <laughs> oh, wow. Does anybody have an extra power belt? I don't see one on. Well, I'm looking through his stuff. I can hook it to the power belt backpack, can I? What? The uh, screen? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, so he's going to hook his screen there, and he's going to... Uh, actually, you said the the one power backpack from the robot was at 20%? Uh, yeah, 21, actually. 21% used. Okay, he's going to use that instead. Okay. I think Cerise took damage there.
How uh, heavy are the backpacks? Um, they're heavy enough. Why? Um, they're a couple of kilos, like you know, 10, 20 kilos. Why? It's a battery. It's basically ten. a big battery. Yeah. Ten. Okay. Uh huh. So, guys, um, next room, hopefully, we'll have the big bad evil guy in it. Do we have any interest in talking to him or capturing him alive? Well, you're supposed to be heroes, so capturing alive is probably an option. Yeah. I'm wondering if we should start with grenades. <laughs> well, the only problem with starting with grenades is... Um, you don't know what else is in the room. That oh, maybe that maybe 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 useful if it's not being grenaded, shall we say? Well, I've got two dose grenades. No, well, they obviously they're non-lethal, obviously. Well, yeah. Unless you want an incendiary grenade or three fragmentations. I was looking at my notes. I should have a tangler. No. I do not. I just have incendiary smoke and frag. And let's not. Well, we could do smoke. Yeah, we could do smoke. We could do doze. Except that smoke, I don't think any of us brought ga gas masks, so that'll smoke us as well. Yeah, so let's not do that. Smoking. So I think okay. those grenades. So whoever has the best throwing. Whoever has the best, just like a flat, what is it, ranged attack? Yeah. Uh, uh, throw grenades is a is a skill. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, it's attack. Yeah, but normally you use your the half your deaths, right? Away. Yeah, throwing weapon skills. What I was looking, what I was, what I was after. Uh, Jazz has forty, but I think he'd rather shoot. Yeah. I've got thirty-four. I've got 35. 1% <laughs> could make a difference. It could. Um, we're not going to open the door yet, but I'm going to go ahead and ch do the alarm rolls. Yep, by all means. Yeah. Well, whoever wants the second dose grenade. Um, Ceres will take it. Okay. If there's an alarm. And then to unlock it. Okay, uh, no alarm and the door is unlocked. Oh, okay. Well, now it's unlocked. You just rolled two rolls. Okay, cool. So, how do we want to go in? Bab, do you want to go in first, or are you too injured? Yeah, I'd say I'm down about 55 right now. Yeah, so I'm thinking probably not you. Probably Jazz? Well, weren't you guys doing surgery? I think that takes too long. I did well, minor yeah. surgery on Babs. Surgery oh, takes did minor surgery. Anyway. Okay. What is that one? Uh, 20 points back, mate. Oh, I should be good then. I can take it. And then who wants to... Jazz will go... Well, depending upon initiative, Jazz will go second. Go ahead and stack yourselves up here, guys. I don't yep. know, Voke, if you want to be closer. Cat. Cat uh, will replace her... Uh, her uh, full clip on her sonic sword with the empty one but because she doesn't have another clip after that she won't be throwing the other clip away <laughs> oh uh i believe i brought yep i'll give you a fresh power clip oh sweet i had one spare but i only brought one spare anyone else need a fresh power clip 
We only have one guy plus the hundred minions that he has with him in this room. Now, would I do that to you guys? Well, I'm going to throw grenades if that's the case. <laughs> it, it's unfortunate the person who did all the calculations for him messing up his stuff is not the most persuasive person in the world. Uh, and I don't think... Oh, I think you mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jazz is going to take cover behind something, and so is Cerise. I don't know about everybody else. Yeah, Boke is too, but he's going to have his grenade out and ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, Cat's plan is to walk in there, and if if, if, if it's clear that our guy's in there uh, actually trying to explain how, how he messed it up, uh, if she gets shot in the process, whatever. Uh, hopefully it's a laser rifle. You want to be a <laughs> diplomat after we just slaughtered, like, 20 people? Well, sh surely, surely this person has to care about their... Like, if, if, they're, if they're after the survival of the human race... If well, the human... Get, yeah. yeah. By slaughtering all the Rusk, then surely if I could convince them that they messed up, then we might be able to turn this around. I will actually, that's, yeah, I'm all for that. I'll move out of the way so he can't see me. <laughs> that's a good point. God, pardon me. God. Gonna grab a drink. I'll be right back. But you guys, yeah, mate. Start. I might. Yeah. Um. So you guys, if, we, if you guys, you guys finished your prep. Yep. Then uh, you can roll for initiative, please. Not that you're necessarily going to need it, but on the grounds you may. Therese, you want to give me some issues, mate? Please? He's walking back from the fridge. Oh, that's why. Who hasn't rolled this yet? Thank you. 16 for Jazz. And 14 for Cerise. Okay. Just let me get something. Ah, uh, yes, that's a good one. He's a giant! Something like that. There's got to be something bad in here, though, because the... the the those three guards and the robot wasn't particularly hard fortifications for a room that has no other exit. There's gonna be something bad. Real bad. Yeah, but do you fortify your secret super secret moon base that nobody knows about? I think they know we're here by now. <laughs> of course. Uh, There's so, two level six warbots. Now, would I, do that, would I do that to you? I was thinking how brutal that the last time we tried to go after the big bad and we got mowed down by machine guns. That was not very fun. Oh, Listen, right if there's two level 6 warbots in there, I'm throwing the incendiary, incendiary grenade. Alright, so the door is unlocked. Um, and you guys can do what you want. Well, not you can't do what you want, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna yeah, no Jazz clip is, through the wall. Jazz and Cerise, uh, we're gonna wait till Cat went in. Give let Cat go first. I don't know if 
Babs wants to wait or go in or open the door. I could do anything. I'm well, what are you doing? Healed up. What are you doing? Yeah, you are I'll going before go in or... Oh, no, don't ignore the ignore the combat tracker for the time being. That's a that's a that's a that's a plan C type thing or a plan B type thing. I I don't see anything on the combat tracker anyway. Oh, don't you? Yeah. No, just us. No, oh, just you guys. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, all right. So who's opening? So is someone opening the door or not? Uh, I mean, Cat is quite happy to open up the door unarmed and walk through it. Yeah, and to open and step know, through. Maybe we should be polite and knock. <laughs> I think it's a yeah. little late for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's a little late. But, but, but going in there unarmed with her hands up, hoping that she can talk for a little bit before getting shot. Right. It, well, cats have to do that. Are you about to pull a dock on us? No, I'm not that. I'm not that nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take it sensitive if I were you, Doc. Crazy <laughs> as a fox, baby. All right. So you got. So uh, who's opening the door? Babs or cat? I don't care who it is. I just need to know. I can open it. All right. So you're going through, are you? Babs will go. All right. Move. Move yourself into the room then, or to the doorway at least. There we go. Right. So this is what you see. Don't. Don't freak out. Um, Lagrange is actually sitting behind, uh, sitting in a chair uh, behind the desk. Um, he's and in classic, in classic um, supervillain style, um, is stroking uh, a cat. Uh, the cat has robotic legs. I must admit. Um, there's a second cat uh, around, uh, um, you know, rubbing himself up against Lagrange's legs. Um, Lagrange makes absolutely no offensive moves at all as you come through the door. Ah, I must congratulate you on getting this far, he says. You've done well. In a very pleasant voice, in a very pleasant uh, way of speaking. It's just a shame that uh, you're too late. The missile was launched half an hour ago. Um, in three and a half hours, the, uh, the plan my plans will come to fruition. And there's nothing you can do about it, he says with a smile on his face. I and have succeeded. I have succeeded. Cat will pipe in. That, well, I guess, buddy, you've killed all the humans on the planet, and I can show you exactly how you messed up uh, in your formula, if you would, if you would like to take the time for me to show you. Oh, you can take the time if you like, but uh, do you really expect me to believe such a hollow, a hollow um, excuse, a hollow um, ploy? Uh, Kat has all the data on her file comp, so she... I know you, yeah, she, I know you do. <laughs> uh, so she, she would be actually doing her best with all of her chemistry and physics, uh, background to, to, to show, show him that he actually messed up. All right. Well, okay. What, before we get to that, what's everybody else doing? Are you all moving into the room or not? No. No. Okay. Uh, we'll leave him um, there. I'll need you. I need a persuasion roll off you, Cat, because he's he's obviously not listening to you. He's obviously um, doesn't believe you. This is before you start the explanation. He doesn't. Even, he doesn't. He doesn't even believe you, you're worthwhile listening to at this stage. What is persuasion? I don't know. It's on the sheet. It's the skill nobody has except Babs, who has a single rank in it. Uh, yep. Uh, personality will do in a pinch. Yeah, no, he doesn't believe you. He looks at you in a very condescending manner, as in it's, it's such an obvious ploy to try and to try and do things. He doesn't believe you. Okay. Um. Are there any obvious controls around here? Uh, yes, there is a computer in the room, um, as well as uh, some monitors. Um, uh, there are several. Uh, if you look around the room, you, you note what appears to be 
um, uh, flight trajectory data. I mean, you, if you've ever watched a SpaceX launch, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and there's, a com there's ob obviously a computer which is obviously controlling that that uh, telemetry data and the rest of it's probably controlling the uh, the missile. Uh, it's on the de side of the desk he's on. Um, yes. Mm. So where are your companions outside? Please invite them in. Uh, I said uh, I'll yell out and say, Cerise, you want to come in? No. <laughs> Doc will go ahead and walk around the Earth, see if he does anything. Uh, and do these kitties look like they have combat abilities? They've got robot legs. Does that mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm. I turn to Babs and say, looking at his uh, sonic sword that he's wielding, do you want to try and persuade him? Uh, persuade him in... <laughs> Which way? <laughs> That's entirely up to you. I guess I'll ask, are, are you or the kitties injured in any way? Oh, no. No, we're perfectly fine. Thank you very much. And just, if you don't mind, just stay where you are. All right. What's the, uh, what are we trying to persuade? Because maybe I don't know that. I don't know. Uh, I, I believe someone's trying to persuade someone to listen to Kat in terms of the scientific knowledge, she, she, evidence she has. I thought that's what you were doing. I could be wrong. Yeah. So, I think I'll try a persuasion, or persuade him. All right, well, and you've got... The, the doc also concurred with my workings as well, did he not? I believe so. Uh, so... Doc, did you... There's another you angle. Continue? If the doc is better at persuading than me. I don't think I'm any better at persuading, but... Uh, whoa, whoa! Ah, that's helpful. Can I be persuasive? Almost a critical success. You really think I've made a mistake in my calculations? This is the this is this is the megalomaniac, megalomaniac ego part coming through. Don't forget, this guy's a Nobel Prize winner, effectively a Nobel Prize winner in biochemistry. And you guys are, I mean, what's your what's your chemistry skills? Not rocket science, is it? Oh, it, it's bad. Yeah, it's it's not three, is it? No, no. So you're not even a member of the of the of the chemistry chemistry guild, or whatever no. the equivalent is. No. <laughs> All right. I'm up for I'm up for a good laugh. Let's see what you've got. All right, Cat will uh, get her file comp out and do whatever she needs to do. I'm sure there's like a screen or something that I can put oh, yeah, the data up that. and, and yeah. show that. I, th this, there's this critical error here that means that it will mutate and uh, jump just from affecting rust to the entire population on the planet. And the animal life and the, and yeah. the uh, plant life. It'll do everything. Yeah. It'll turn, it'll turn uh, Karatar into a, a barren rock. Yeah. Uh, so I need, another, I need another persuasion roll off you, please. And it's got to be off you because you're the one doing the persuading. Now, okay. He seems dubious. I mean, it takes a good hour to go through, um, to go through things like this. Um, the three of you in there, can I get? Um, can I again? Can I get either intuition or uh, logic rolls off the three of you that are in that room, please? Um, all three of you come to the realization after about an hour of cat explaining things and 
get back and forth, that Lagrange actually is just simply playing for time. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm going to blurt out, uh, sir, you should check the amount of fuels that you have in your fuel silos. We defueled the rockets before you, uh, you got rid of them. Uh, if you want to go check that meth and come back to us, uh, we'll wait. Uh, he leans over, taps a few commands into the computer. A frown crosses his face. He taps a few more commands into the computer. The trajectory um, display updates somewhat. Um, and it looks like the missile won't make the surface of the planet, but it will make atmosphere, which could be enough. Hmm, he says. You've been busy, haven't you? Still, no real harm done. Uh, and uh, your, uh, your, ma your, uh, your uh, science is flawed, he says. You know it's not, but he said that's what he says to you. All right, well, if we can't do this the easy way, then I guess we're going to have to do it the hard way. Cat draws the sonic sword. Right. At that point, we now go into combat tracker initiative. Okay, I thought that was going to happen sooner or later. Jazz, you don't know what's going on inside yet. So, and Cat hasn't, no one's screened out. So, I'm going to put you on hold. Um, Lagrange, uh, he's been sitting there cat, uh, patting his cat all this time. He flings the cat at you uh, and Babu. Uh, the cat um, turns on its rocket boosters and he's on you. Oh. <laughs> the rocket propelled cat. Nice. I'll make them a bit bigger. Uh, the other one launches itself at Doc. Uh, with rocket boosted with rocket boosting power. Although that'll happen in a moment because I, I I'm out of sequence. Hang on a sec. Uh, and so uh, the cat um takes uh, uh takes several claw swings at um at you at Q cat. The cat goes after cat. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of a tautology there. Um, I'll get you to give me a... Um, I don't think you're expecting the rocket-powered cat, were you? Be honest. No. So you better, you better give me a reaction speed check, please, mate. Yeah, no, you're surprised, I'm afraid which gives the cat a bonus to hit you. The cat swipes at you twice and manages uh, with its robot claws um, and does uh, 10 points of slashing damage. That's what it is to you. And... Um, Yes. Okay. At, cool. the s at the same moment, Le at the same moment, the cat, the first cat launches itself at you. Uh, Lagrange drops down behind, drops down behind the desk. Out of sight. Okay. And the three of you in the room, or, or no, not you, cat, because you're, you're, you've got a, a, you've got a nasty cat, uh, with a rocket-powered cat in your face. So not you, but the other two can give me a quick logic roll, please as you hear something unusual. I think I've got a cat in my face, too. Should I make a reaction speed check? Who? You, Doc? Not yet, you haven't. Okay. Not yet, you haven't. So, yes, uh, both you and Babs, please. Well, that's no good. He starts venting the atmosphere, doesn't he? I didn't say that. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for uh, Babs to give me a, um, a reaction speed uh, check. It, it's uh, more reaction speed sorry, check. Sorry, a yeah. logic. Uh, sorry, logic. Logic check. Logic check. It's more just or that uh, he did no, actually logic. have another way out. Logic check, please. Okay, yeah, no, neither of you make it. That's okay. Um, Babu, you are up. Um, cat has got a, a rocket-powered cat in his face. In, in, in her face. Um, it's only a small creature. You can you can attack it if you wish, or you can do something else. What do you want to do, Babs? Uh, and uh, while that's happening, and and at the same moment. Uh, Doc gets the other rocket-powered cat in his face at the same instant. 
also at the same instant, Cerise, you can hear something, something coming from the room inside. So what are you planning on doing? So let's get this through. What are you doing, Babs? Is point where 23 is. That's a table. That's a table. That's a desk table. Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to be jumping over the table to get to the other side. All right. Well, um, if you're going to jump up on the table, that will be a reaction speed check so that you don't slip, plus your movement rate um, to get over the other side of the table. So, yes, you managed to be up on the table without any trouble. And whatever your movement rate is to get to the other side. Uh, is that basically... Well, you're running, I'm assuming. one, run or walk? Walk. Well, it's up to you. How far can you walk? 7.5. Well, it's two, square, two metres a square, so you're going to have to run to get the other side of the table all the way across. All right, that would be 30. Okay, well, after 30, what's it? So you're, you, do, are you jumping down or are you staying where you are, or what's the story? Uh, I want to see if uh, he's still there or what's there before I jump. Okay. Um, there is a um, piece of flooring that is uh, swinging closed. Can I shove the sword down there to stop it from being closed? If you can give me a reaction speed check, possibly. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Not, that, not with that roll. Okay, so that's, that's what you've done. So you're on the edge of the table with a uh, with kind of the, the, the flooring does close. Uh, Cat 2 attacks Doc. Um, Doc, um, you better give me a reaction speed check, mate, because this is... Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's not ignore that. Uh, so the first claw strike misses. The second claw strike hits. Uh, and does uh, 11 points of damage to you. Now, it's slashing damage, so, yeah, that might help. Um, so, Cerise, you can, in fact, everybody outside can hear uh, what sounds like an angry, an angry pair of felines ha having at it. Uh, there's a cat fight going on, basically. Uh, so, what are you doing, Cerise? And well, does right Jazz react before Cerise? No. Uh, well, Jazz held, uh, held his action, so, I mean... If you want to give me, if you want to give me, yeah, but it doesn't really matter which one goes first, does it? Or does yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, they've got their melee weapons and they were going to charge in once combat started. All right, so, well, move in then, you know, and I'll explain what you, you, what you see, if you need to explain what you see. Okay, so, you're facing the wrong way. Let's just spin you about. There we go. Okay, um, feel free to reposition. Um, so, uh, our cat has a feline cat with uh, mechanical legs and rocket power um, slashing up her face. Doc's got a second feline cat doing the same. Babu is standing on, on the far end of the desk looking down uh, with a, uh, and that's what, and there's computers on the desk and telemetry displays and things like that, which I've already told you about. That's what you, that's what you all see, okay? Um, when you get in there. Doc, okay. Doc, you're up. What, what are you going to do? Uh, well, having dealt with angry kitties, I'm going to stop, drop, and roll. I want to try to just grab the kitty. I don't want to get try and scratch You're going to try and grapple it, are you? Yeah, or grab pin it. it. Grab I'm not trying to kill it. I'm just trying to stop it from attacking me. If I can pin it under myself, that's what I'll try to do. All right, no worries, you can do that. You can try and do that. It, that that's, that's a combat role, though. <laughs> well, I can, well, I can, should I can that be an, an, uh, an if, attack if you, it, melee? It, it, it's an attack melee. If you've got wrestling skill, it's actually a wrestle, technically. Nope, but yeah, if you I haven't, haven't got wrestling skill, then don't worry about it. Oh, well done. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me, I need to make a counter roll for this one because the cats are very... They're incredibly quick, these cats. Like, very quick, even for cats. No, kitty, this is my pot pie. Um, you manage to you manage to get the cat. Are you going prone on the cat, basically, or whatever? If I can, I, I, I'm dropping to the floor. If, 
Yeah, okay. So you, you've, you've, managed, you've managed to take the cat with you. The cat is still attacking you, though. So you've only got a partial grip on it as such. Okay? okay. And with, with right, that, right. guys, I'm going to have to give you all a... Oh, you're going to go, go have you? Yeah, unfortunately. All right, mate. All right, no worries. Your wife um, has given me the marching orders. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll put, tune into YouTube and see what else happens. Um, I'll free up your character when you go and uh, someone else can take over. Thanks, um, guys. But, but thanks, thanks take care. Time, mate. See you. All right, guys. User disconnected from your channel. Someone want to take over, Doc? Please. I've already oh, had over, Doc. It's one of you guys. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, Doc. Um, so that's what Doc's done. Um, Cat, what are you doing? You do have, you do have your Sonic Sword out, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, take a swing at that stupid cat. <laughs> well done. Um, now it's Sonic Sword, so its claws don't. Its claws. Its fur doesn't protect. So that's a full thirty points on that cat. Well, thirty-two points on that cat. Okay, you've you you you, you you've hurt the kitty. The kitty. You've hurt the kitty, you bastard. <laughs> Good. Uh, end your turn when you're ready. Zoke. Um. It's not possible for me to get there and attack the cat attacking cat, right? Uh, with no, a melee. It's a, bit it's a bit difficult with a, It's a bit difficult this round. You can do it next round. You can move in and get there, but I mean, you know, don't forget to swirl. If, yeah. Yeah, like move right but there. Would that be good for next yeah, round to attack? Yeah, that'd be good. That, that would be good for next round. Just spin your token around so you're facing the right way. There we go. Uh, initiative, please, everybody, for round two. Okay, fine. The cerise. Whoops. Uh, uh, six, the plus six, six was dark. Uh, the plus six was right. Okay, so you're on eight and Doc's on fourteen. Is that right? Yep. You're on eight. And Doc's on fourteen. Uh, oh, I'm gonna put the cats up. Um, Doc's eight, you're on 14, Let's that out. Um, have I got everybody? Uh, Jazz, I got Jazz. No, I didn't get Jazz. Got Jazz. And Cat's on seven. Our Cat's on seven. Cat with a K is a bastard. Cat with a C. <coughs> K Cat. C Cat. <laughs> Five, six, eight. Right, okay, so. Pardon me. Um, right. Let's get going. Jazz, you're up. K Cat is fighting C Cat one. Can I get in there and attack? Uh oh. yeah, but okay. Yes, you can. There's a, but the cat is the cat is uh, small enough that only two of you can get in on it at any one time, and obviously K Cat's one of those people. And I think Voke was already going. Voke was for lining. It. Voke was lining up for it. So, so I'm going to go get... over and see what Bab was doing. Babs was doing. All right, you going to walk around the desk or what? Yeah, run around. Okay. Okay. So let's do. Okay, Bab is Babs is looking at, at the floor. With a, uh, we, we, B B B Bab has thrust his sword into the floor, actually. Okay. So I should, I've got 13. Four, five. So I think I. Sorry, go on. So what are you doing? Sorry. So w was it obvious that he thrust his sword into the floor to keep a panel from closing? No, it's only obvious that he thrust his sword into the floor. You have no idea why. Okay. Then I I think I'll go there and I'll try to figure out what he's doing. All right. Well, give me a logic roll, please. Or intuition. It's up to you. I don't care. Yep. Okay. Well, you suspect that Babs was trying to stop a floor, a floor panel from closing, 
or he was shouting at somebody and that somebody still could hear. Or both. Is there anything, is there, can I grab, since I, if the floor panel was closing, is there anything to grab there to keep it no, from it's opening? No, as far, as far as you're aware, there's no visible sign of, of a floor panel. All right. This okay. is, I said you've 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 worked this out logically, which is why I gave you two possibilities. Yep. So Unless, that's probably and, and, until Bab confirms it, that's the best you can do. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Okay, Doc. Oh, you're you're fighting a uh, you're fighting a cat. What are you doing? Uh, he dropped to the ground, didn't he? Yes, he's got part. He's got the cat partially pinned, but the cat is still attacking him. And they are fast. Their initiative modifier is nine. That's how quick yeah. they are. Well, the... Okay, instead of trying to... Is it still getting all of his attacks at him? It's getting both attacks in still, yes. Can he grab, like... He can attempt grab to, its right? front legs? He can attempt to. He's a pacifist, so he's going to... Okay, let's see. That would be... What would that Does be? Does he have enough of a hold of him to get it with an anesthetic? Um, that's, that's something the doc would try and do if he had it the would opportunity. Be. It, would be, it would be. Yeah, that's a good um, idea. You could try and do that. It'll, it, it, it's going to require um, a reaction speed check to get the anesthetic out while holding onto the cat, or you can let the cat go. Uh, okay, reaction... <laughs> Speed. Uh, chances are he makes it. Nope. <laughs> no, he didn't. So he fumbles around and does not manage to get any anesthetic out, but does manage to hang on to the cat. Okay. Okay. End your turn when you're ready. Cat, K cat. Uh, C cat misses you with its first swipe. Uh huh. Uh, but does yeah, it does get you with the second one. Yep. For a further 10 points of damage. Uh-huh. And what's your current... Uh, what's, what's your current stamina, please? 50. Can you give me a current stamina roll, please? Yep. Okay, that's cool. That's good. That's cool. Uh, cat 2 uh, attacks the, the dock again. Uh, hits with the first one. And hits with the second one. So the first claw, don't forget these are slashing attacks. The first claw does uh, 8 points. The second claw does 5 points. I need to know your current stamina once the, once that's been done as well. Eight and five. Okay, where does he keep his skin suit? He might not actually wear a skin suit. He doesn't, I don't think. Okay, then he takes straight 13. Mm -hmm. I'll check if he has one in his inventory later. Yeah. In, the me in the meantime, are you current, can you give me a current stamina roll as well, please? Oh, just barely. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. I need you over in private room one, please. User left your channel. Channel switched. All right. Um, all of a sudden you feel nauseous. Like, okay, so he might think it's a poison cat claw. Could be. He'll 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 require a proper diagnostic role, um, which will be one of your two two possible actions when you get a chance. Okay, but that's, I said, you feel a bit woozy. Not woozy, you feel a bit nauseous. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. And he does person? have a skin suit. He does. Okay, fine. In that case, make the adjustments. Yep. Um, and, you st and the current stamina still, still applies because I took some penalties into, into account, which the skin suit won't fix. Okay, so it's all yep. good. User left your channel. Channel switched. Uh, so that was cat two, Voke. Now, don't forget, Voke, you don't know what Doc knows. Yep, uh, he's going to attack the cat with his force axe. With his force axe. <laughs> and I think that's a miss. Yep. 
Yeah, that's a miss. Uh, uh, K-Cat, you get a force axe down past your nose. Nice. <laughs> but it doesn't get you. In the meantime... Uh, no. No, you missed as well. Babu, what are you doing? Now, Jazz is, Jazz is looking at you with a questioning look in his eyes. I think, what the hell's Am going I on? Am I able to open the uh, panel and follow? You've got to work out how to open it first. Well, so then I'll try to open it. Are you jumping down off the table? Yeah. All right. I mean, I assume I have to do that to get to the panel to be able to open it. Yeah. Okay. So, Jazz, you see Babu drop to it, drop to its knees and start fiddling around the floor. Um, you better give me a logic roll, please, um, Babu, to see how we, whether you can work out how to get this thing open. Oh, ho, 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 well done. So it takes the, it takes the entire your entire action, but at the start of the next round, you may you you, you have worked out how to open up the panel. Okay. All right. All right. Then you turn when you're ready. Cerise. All right, so can I attack the cat on dock? Uh, yes, you should be able to move around. Yeah, you should be able to move around there, yeah. I covered up my hot bar. Don't do that. Um, I'm going. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to. There's a penalty on that because you moved. You had to move past Doc and the struggling cat and across the table. So yeah, that's actually a miss this time. Okay. 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 Uh, end your turn when you're ready, and I believe that's up for up for initiatives, please. So let me tell you what, ja um, Jazz, you're there. Babu looks like ba ba Babu spent his entire action um, probing the probing the floor near where he stabbed it. And at the end of the at the end of the, st at the, the last round, he basically gives a sigh of success, as in I found what I was looking for. Okay, you still don't know what he's looking for, but whatever it is, he's found it. All right. Yeah, okay. ignore the first doc roll. I switched to doc too soon. Yeah, that's okay. So I just so re rolled. Yeah, yeah. Cat got an eleven. Cerise got an eight. Our, so ignore the first dock roll, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So Babu got a 12. Uh, Babu got a 12. Jazz got a 14. Vote got an 8. And Doc got an 8, is that right? Yep. Okay. And the two kitty cats. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Only got an 11. Only got an 11. And only got a 13. So let's kick you off, Jazz. So, can I help uh, Babu with the panel uh, yeah, or anything? Yeah, well, you still don't know exactly what he's doing. That's the problem. But yeah, you can give. I'll tell you, give me another logic roll. And I'll and I'll say, look, Babs, what what can I do? Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you know, without any any further instructions, you've got no help. Uh, so cat two, uh, cat two is actually going to swipe at um, Cerise, believe it or not. Um, whoopsie daisy. Uh, for two hits. Uh, the first one, this is again slashing damage. So 10 points from the first slash against you, Cerise, and uh, 14 for the second. And you can give me a current stamina roll once you've taken that damage, please. Okay, that's good. Excellent, no problem. Babu. Yep, we get it open then. All right, yes. Um, you managed to get um, the the, uh, the panel in the floor open. Uh, Jazz, this panel that uh, Babu's just opened up 
um, p big enough for a, um, a, a human or a, or a dralocyte or a Yazirian to move through. A Vras could move through it, but it'd be a very tight squeeze. Going after him, Chaz. I'll jump down in there. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Um. I'll I'll keep you all in the same room in the same chat room, but remember that any, that some people aren't going to know what other people are doing because you're splitting up, and that's fine. Right. When you get down when you get down there, Babs, um, you can see a monorail track. All right. Um, if you give me a quick um a quick spot check. I might be able to give you some more information. Uh, search roll. Uh, yeah, effectively a search roll. It's the same basic thing. Okay. Uh, you can just make out in the darkness a monorail car uh, leaving, leaving the area. Obviously heading towards one of the spokes. Guess what I said, Cat? What are you talking uh, about? I'll yell up to Jazz. He's heading towards a spoke on a monorail. Okay. You hear that, Jazz? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's the end of your turn, I believe, um, Babu. Um, All right. The Cat 1 is changing targets somewhat to um, – let's move out of the way for a second so I get the Cat. Uh, to uh, b to Voke. It slices its vo way at Voke. And hits Voke, but only once. It's a slashing attack, as I said. Um, for two points of damage. <coughs> wow, okay. Okay. Cat. Our cat, K cat. Cool. Uh, I guess try and kill this cat. You're gonna try and kill the cat. No. Not with that roll, you won't. <laughs> that might kill. It might kill Vogue, but it won't kill the cat. Sarit, you got a cat. You got an angry cat at you. Yep. Attack. Mm -hmm. I'm very sad. No one picked up on the Simpsons reference. I know, I got the Simpsons reference, don't worry, I just wasn't going to quote it. <laughs> uh, that's a miss as well. Uh, Doc, uh, he's... You, are, you, you are prone, you've still got hold of the cat, are you still trying to reach for an anesthetic? Yeah. Okay, right. So it's reaction speed check, please. Okay, followed by a dexterity check to make sure you don't drop the thing. Nope. No, you've dropped it on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. Well, you can pick it up. That's turn, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Um, unless you want to let the cat go, in which case you're, 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 you'll be, you won't have as quite as many, won't cause as many penalties. Cause you, yeah, you but then thing, how do I apply the anesthetic onto the cat if I don't have a hold on it? Oh, well, I mean, that's your problem, not mine. Voke, you're up. <laughs> All right, he, Voke is going to try to hit it. You hit it. Oh, uh, you, you try and hit it. Then you miss it. Yeah, okay. As I said, this, th these, these things are quick. They're very quick cats. Uh, initiatives, please, for round four. So nine for our cat. 13 for Voke. Um, Cerise is on 11. Uh, Babu's on an eight. Where are you, Babu? I've lost you. Uh, Doc's on a ten. Jazz is on a twelve. Is that everybody? It is. Let's get the two cats done. Uh, okay. Uh, so cat two. Uh, turns its attention back to Doc to try and get you to let it go by slashing at you twice. Uh, the first one hits. And the second one misses. You take a further, this is you, Voke, uh, Doc, you take a further 10 points of damage. Okay. 
And you know what I said to you earlier? Yep. It's even worse. It's getting worse. Okay. All right. Uh, Cat 1 uh, uses its rocket boosters to launch itself all the way over its head. Uh, and attacks Jazz, misses the first slash, uh, but gets the second one. So Jazz, you take uh, five points of slashing damage. Wait, that was Jazz five points? That, that was Jazz five points. You need me to make a check? Nope, not yet, I don't. Uh, Voke, you're up. Uh, he will move uh, to Jazz and attack the cat. Okay. Nope. Jazz? Can another person get in on any other? Oh, the one cat's down. Okay. Um, do which way did which way did he go, Jack? Uh, Bab Babu. East or he west? Down, he went towards the uh, spoke. You also have a cat attacking a car you. Waiting here for him. Oh, the cat moved over to me. I missed it. Okay, yeah. I'll attack the cat. That's why I took damage. Nothing gets past me. Hopefully that kills it. And it's then Therese like... will attack the cat on her and Doc. And miss. Matt, you're muted if you're talking right now. That's probably why you can't. Anthony, I was just saying, cat. Uh, the cat one is not dead, but it is heavily wounded. Um, the car went to the left on the map to answer Babu and Jazz's earlier questions. Um, and Doc, you're up. <laughs> Okay, so to pick up the anesthetic would be a dexterity check this time. Dexterity check, okay. Uh, and then uh, the I would have to go to the next round. I'd have to do one more action to apply it to him, right? And that would be not another check? Not necessarily. Um, if you can pick it up, I'll give you a reaction speed check. If you make the reaction speed check, you can try and stab the cat now. But you've got to you get the needle first. You gotta get the hypo first. Uh Cerise, you can see Doc scrambling for a hypo. Okay. I... Okay. Whoops, I'm adding dice to that. I don't want to add dice to that. I wanna roll a dice to determine what I'm doing. Oh, a natural one. That's fantastic. Okay. Alright, he's gonna try. Uh-huh. Yes, you managed to you managed to pick up the hypo without sticking yourself. And um, he doesn't make the reaction. No, so you can't get it. You, um, don't get the, the cat's struggling, and you know there's a whole bunch going on. So that's why the reaction speed checks. Cat, our uh, K okay, cat. Um, you hear something about a car heading towards towards a spoke, but you only partially hear it because there's a lot of cats screaming and cat fighting going on. It's hard to hear across the room. Yeah. Uh, the stupid cats mean that I probably can't hack into the computer. Um, oh, you probably you probably could, but it's gonna take a lot. Of, it's, it's gonna take more than one round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is obviously the rocket control room, so. Well, um, logically, it seems to be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the cats are engaged. Uh, she's going to. Uh, How, uh, let me r remind me, how long does the, the 
bypass security take? It's like minutes, isn't it? Uh, depends. It, it, it technically it, it technically is minutes, but um, it is different for every computer. It depends on whether you're bypassing or defeating security. Um, bypassing, defeating security takes is it, basically you've, you you hacked the computer. Bypass, you rewire the computer. Yeah. Bypass is a lot harder, but it takes a lot shorter time. Yeah. All right. And you should probably, and just as a general opsec or operational rule, you probably want to look at the computer before you try start trying to bypass it or, or defeat security because sometimes computers can be wired to explosives, especially yeah. important computers. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying this one is. I'm just saying that's, you know, common sense opsec, op operational um, stuff. So what would you like to do? Uh, she would like to at least go over to the computer and just do a general checking it out. All right, well, that means moving over to there. Um, there's a hole in the floor. There's a panel missing, and you can just see the top of Babu's head. Hi, Babu. Uh, do you in, want the, me in the darkness. Yeah. Uh, do you want help? Are we running after this guy? And that'll be my turn. Okay. Babu. Uh, cat's cat's looking uh, down the hole at you and asking you what's going on, effectively. Monorail moves faster than I can, right? Oh yeah, you're definitely sorry, yeah. mate. Yes. Um, there's nothing stopping you from grabbing a, grabbing a monorail car at the terminal and and trying to work out where he's going. Yeah, well, that's probably what we need to do. Well, in that case, you probably yeah. should come back up. Then it's probably the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Tell a cat, everyone, we gotta get. We need another car to chase him, and I'll start making my way back. Well, kind of herding cat back up that way in case she was trying to run down after it. And well, um, she's not. She's at the. She hasn't come down the hole. She's just looking down the hole at you. Okay. Well, then I'll be pushing her out of the way as I try to get back up. <laughs> yeah. Well, something like that. Um, you need to give me a climb roll, please. You are climbing out of the hole, obviously. Is there a climb? A climb. Sport? There is a climb skill, but I can't remember what it's based on. Um, it's probably half strength, half reaction speed. That's that's a typical. That's a typical um, uh, type of thing, like the average of climb and yeah. But there is a climb skill, but you don't have it, looks like. So give me a half strength, half reaction speed. That'll do it. Because it's a bit of both. Oh, uh, cat. Our cat, um, while you start checking out the computer, you can see that there's a, a countdown clock. Uh, it's just under two and a half hours. Cool. Uh, that's on the. I'd say that's on one of the telemetry screens. I think she's going to be looking for a way to uh, call a monorail car to the escape hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that's wrong. It should have been the other way. Should have been a, should have been a plus 17 on that. Yeah, well, you're going to make it anyway. No. I mean, you, well, look at your, um, look at your total. You, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, uh, Babu crawls back up out of the hole. Um, meanwhile, the cats are fighting and our cat's looking at the computer. So, I'll get some initiatives off everybody, please. So nine for Cerise, and 15 for our cat, um, and eight for the dock, eight for the dock, nine for Babu, and you better give me a logic roll please cat, our cat please, 10 for Voke, 14 for Jazz. Um, your best, 
you, you, you sort of kind of figure out the best way of getting a car is to go back to the term to the car terminal um, outside the, these two rooms and calling one from there. It's probably it's, it's probably quicker doing that than trying to find how to do it on the computer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just thought I'd give you that one. Um, so our two the two pussy cats are on. And them respectively. No, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Okay. So, Jazz, you you are uh, first. Cat, uh, you go at the same time as Cat goes, but you've got a cat. You've got a a, a combat cat on you. Um, so you you go first. But uh, yeah, Jazz. Yeah. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Our cat. All these cats are engaged, so a cat can't really do anything anyway. No, but what what are you going to be doing? Uh, she's probably going to jump over the table and run towards the door, see if she can call up a car. Uh, You're the only but... one who can do the reprogram the missile. We're going to do that here rather than go after him? Well, well, what's more, impo what's more important, saving the planet or apprehending the the criminal? True. I'm just, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just asking a question. You're the only yeah. one who can do the computer, but you're not the only one who can chase after Lagrange. Yeah, it's just uh, these skills are so useless. So I'm gonna fail it, and it's not gonna matter anyway. Uh, all right, uh, whatever. Um, all right, it's a level three computer, so operate computers is the first thing you need to do at level three. Well, you're successful, so you've now operated the computer. But remember, we're in melee, and these are these are seconds seconds that go. So that's all you can do this round, okay? Yeah. Okay, but at least you're in. Not really. Well, no, you're half in. Um, and I'll give you this one for free. It's got a level two security program on it. So that's your next target, if you like. Cat one. Oh, whoops. Woo! Thank now, God it wasn't my turn. I'll, I'll, I'll take that for your roll, mate. <laughs> ah, I was waiting for the chat to change so I could roll because I thought it was my turn, but not the cat's. Uh, no. Um... So this is against you, Jazz. Uh, that's oh, hang on, that's not right. Uh, the first, the first one does twelve points of damage to you, and the second one misses you. Okay. Um, and I will now get you to give me a current stamina roll, please, Jazz. Getting there, getting there. That's okay. That's okay. It's cool. So nope. Okay, can I have you over in room one for a second, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Uh, cat two is, um, Trying to get free from the dock. Uh, that's a miss. And a hit. So dock, that's a further six points of damage. Okay. 
And I need you opening room one, two for a split second, please. Channel switch. User joined your channel. Not you, Vogue, but really you. Yeah, um, um, you have a minus 10 penalty to all of your roles from now on. Ah, okay. As the nausea is getting worse. Okay? Yep. Okay. User left your channel, channel. switch. Uh, Vogue. That's a hit. Yeah. On cat one. Damage. Uh, yeah. Cat one is um. Somebody, somebody's moggy, lying beside the road. Somebody's moggy, who forgot his highway code. That's actually a song, by the way, from the sixties. Um, hmm. the cat, the, the cat one is is lying on the. Half on the de half on the desk, uh, not moving. Oof. You're, all right, Peter is going to be very annoyed with you. Eh, well. Animal, animal, animal cruelty. <laughs> bad, People what are eating you doing? tasty animals. <laughs> yeah, uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, bad? I think I need to be moving as fast as I can towards the terminal where we'll get the uh, car. All right, well, what's your maximum mo maximum movement rate? Uh, that would be running, right? So third. Yep. Sorry, I'll start again. Um, so uh, it's 15... Yeah, 30 metres, that's 15 squares, so it's two, square, two metres a square. Don't forget, you've got, you got to go around the table and probably jazz the side because there's no fight going on that side. So that's uh, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. I tell you, you can just make the terminal, according to me. And if you give me a reaction speed check, I'll even let you hit the button. No, you haven't hit the button yet. Uh, I Sorry. am not that fast. No, but you, there was a chance. It was a good chance too, actually. So end your turn. Um, so while Babu's making to the door, Cerise, what are you doing? Oh, you're still on a cat. You're still, you're still in a cat fight. Yep, still in a cat fight. Mm-hmm. It's a miss. It's a critical miss. Um, you better give me a reaction speed check again, please. And Doc, you better give me one as well, because Doc's prone and the cat's prone, and you're hitting them with a with a force axe, and you just critical critically missed. So depending on what Cerise rolls. Uh, Doc, you managed to quickly roll out of the way. The force axe misses you by millimetres <laughs> as it strikes the floor. I know a good medic. <laughs> Not if he's got a force axe in his head, you don't. Um, Doc, you're up. Okay. Uh, so, so. It's this, so this is a this is a um, a combat a combat stab. Don't forget there's a minus 10 on that, which means you miss. Yep. Oh, no, you didn't miss. No, no. no you I, I put it in. It's not a reaction speed check, mate. It's a it's a combat roll. It's an attack? It's an attack. Oh, I thought we were doing reaction speed. Okay. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. It's an attack. You've actually got to try and stab the thing, so it's, that's technically an attack. Well, okay. That's yeah, not going to happen, but... come this far. Ah, hey, it you happened. Managed, you managed to, to get the cat. You managed to get the cat with the hypo. Okay. Um, there we go. So end your turn. There we go. End your turn. Initiatives, please, for round six.
docks on a 14, which is probably useful. Oh, Cat 1's gone, isn't it? That's right, I'll get rid of him. Um, Babs is on a 9, and Gerard. Jazz is on an 11. Jazz is 12, a series is 11. Sorry? Oh, I rolled... Oh, that first Jazz is actually three. That's why I was confused. Right, okay. So that's, that's actually you, Cerise. Yeah, it's 11 okay. for Cerise. And 16 for, our, for KCAT. And 11 for Voke. And... 12 for Jazz. 12 is 12 for Jazz, right. And so you're on and you're on, ele you're on 11? No. Uh, I rolled threes twice because I oh, didn't see her. The, yeah, yeah, they were both elevens. That's right. No, that's, that's okay. Babu, you're on nine. Um, and so um, I've got a roll for the cat. Um, actually, only one. And our cat. You back? You back, cat? Uh, yep. All right. So you can either bypass security or defeat security, but it's level two. All right, you, bypassing security is going to take about an hour. Well, I can't. Sorry, I can't, sorry, I can't. sorry, 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 sorry. Defeat security is going to take about an hour. Bypass is going to take about ten minutes. Yeah, we're going to have to bypass. Okay, so you're going to start that process. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Um, Doc, what are you doing? Does it seem that the anesthetic worked? Uh, you don't, you, well, the cat hasn't had a chance to move yet, so you don't know. Well, then he will do a diagnostic on himself. Let me... On himself? Okay. So you're letting the cat go, are you? Oh, actually, no. He'll, <laughs> he'll get another anesthetic out. All right, that's your reaction speed check. Let me get that. Nope. Nope. Jazz. A dang kill cat. The cat's dead, remember? No, I didn't realize he died. Yeah, the cat's dead. Oh, well, he was okay. still on the map. I know, I just realized that. I'm taking him off now. So, what are you doing? Uh, Babu has run out the door. He said something yeah, about I'll go a, after a car. Babu. All right, what's your, uh, what's your movement rate? Is it better than 30? Uh, well, I was looking it up. Running is 38. Yeah, well, you can certainly make it all the way over to the to the car when it arrives, along with Babs. Um, cat 2 is not moving. Okay. So Cat 2 is not moving. Cerise, you see that Cat 2 is not moving. What do you want to do? Um, attack it. Okay. Um, it's, unless you unless you completely stuff up the roll, you're going to hit it because it's prone and unconscious and whatever else. You almost stuffed up the roll. Um, uh, so roll me the damage. Roll me some damage, please. You nasty cat killer, you. Yep. Um, uh, you managed to take off the cat's head. It didn't need it. It didn't need it. Voke. Well, Cat's got the computer. Everybody else is running to the terminal. The cat's dead. Yeah, I guess I'm going to. Okay, what's your movement rate? Uh, I think it's 25. 25. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen to there. 16, 18, 20, 22, 20. Yeah, okay, you can make that. Uh, that's you, Voke. Babu, what are you doing? Oh, you're waiting for the car to arrive, aren't you? Yep. That's okay. Um, well, there's no more combat going on, so we'll move off the combat tracker, if you like. Yeah? Yep. Um, yeah, um, our cat, you've got 10 minutes of... Um, uh, what, are you, what are you doing, Therese and Doc? Oh, you're you're doing what? Well, yeah, what are you doing, Cerise and Doc? I'm just going to move you out of the way so I can get to the cat. Doc is going to uh, figure out what's making him so nauseous. Okay. 
And so it's a diagnostic role. And it was jazz that was nauseous, not Ceres, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Um, jazz is going to ask Kat if there's anything she can do to help. And if not, she'll go to a car and go a different direction than... Well, they all, they, all go the, they all go the same way. <laughs> Hang on, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, sorry, Jazz is already at the cat cable car, isn't he? Uh, yeah, but Cerise is going to ask Cat oh. if she needs help. Yeah, the only yeah. thing I was going to say is, uh, can you check this computer for any booby traps before sure. I... Sure. Yeah, I'll stay and do that. Okay, you'll stay and do that. Um, and Doc's doing that, so um, I'll well, end that up because that's not a thing. Okay, so uh, a moment or two later, um, I've got to split this. I've got to do these separately, guys. Um, a, a car arrives um, at the terminal. Um, what are you three at the terminal doing? Is the, the car, car empty? Yeah, the camp car's empty, yeah. Okay, I, was, I thought you were about to say, and there's two oh. war bots in it. No, I wouldn't do that, Sam. I wouldn't do that. Do we know which color to push? Didn't yeah. you have it written down somewhere? That's what I was looking for. <laughs> buttons. It's in buttons. There's a note in. There's a, there's a there's a button note in notes apparently. Orange is the shuttle pad. Yellow is the carousel recreation. So the shuttle pad. Yep. Then we'll all jump in and push orange. There's only one shuttle pad that we know of, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep, unless he's going to the power plant, or but if he's trying to escape, he's going to go to the shuttle. Okay, so you guys are heading off towards the shuttle. I'll leave your tokens on the map for the time being. Um, so, Cerise, you want to give me that um, uh, booby trap roll, please? Okay. Uh, you do not detect any alarms, uh, alarms, defenses on the computer. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's you done. Doc, can you come to the private room for a second, please? Sure. User left your channel. Channel switched. Um, you have been poisoned multiple, multiple times um, with um, an S10, V10 poison. How bad is that? Every 10 rounds, every 10 minutes, hang on, it's every, oh, hang on, I have to look it up now. Every 10 something, it gets worse? Every 10 something, you take 10 damage. Okay. Let me just check, I'll have to find it real quick, hang on. Where is it? Here's the main rule book. Uh, what have I done with it? What have I done with it? What have I done with it? Uh, Alpha Dawn Spended Rules, there it is. I take it it'll be a neutralized toxin to get rid of it? Uh, yes, it will, but you've been hit multiple times. Page 18, that's what I'm after. Um... Poison damage is inflicted every turn instead of every 10 hours, and the duration is in turns. Thus, an S7T9 poison causes 7 damage every turn for 9 turns. So this is going to cause 10 damage every turn for 10 turns. Okay. Per dose. So he does the diagnostic, and that's 30 points. No, no, not yet. It hasn't kicked in yet. There's a, oh. there's a kick in time. And it, ha it, hasn't quite, it hasn't started. The first dose hasn't, hasn't affected you yet, apart from the nausea. Okay, right, then you will. better get to work. You better get to work. So that's your that was the diagnosis role. So hang on a sec. Um, what are you doing? Uh, okay, so just hold that thought. If you want to talk to me about it in private, come back to the private room, but let's go back to the main room. User left your channel. channel okay, so, so you're working on bypassing security, Cat? Is that right? Ben? 
Oh, whoops. Uh, yes. Talk, yeah. Okay, uh, no, 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 I was pushing to talk, but my mic was was yeah, okay. to muted. That's all right. Um, um, yeah, your work? De defeat security takes one to ten hours. Yeah, well, so. it's take an, it, you, it'll take an hour. For, it'll take an hour in this case for you. Bypass is only going to be ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so, Sharice, what are you doing now that you've checked out the thing and it's not booby trapped? Are you going to follow? Go for a car? Or are you going to stay here? Wait. Let's let's just be absolutely clear. Are you saying as GM it is a guaranteed one hour and there is greater than one hour left on this timer? There's just under two and a half hours left on this timer. Yeah. And your experience with computers tells you it's going to take an hour to bypass to bypass the security. To do, it's going to take an hour to defeat the security. Okay. Cool. Or ten yeah. minutes to bypass it. It's your choice. Well, the, 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 it's just in the rules that says one to ten hours. You roll the yeah. d10. Uh, yeah. No. Well, I, 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 I yeah. have, yeah. I have if, superseding information. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're doing that, then I would be silly to bypass because. Oh, well, I, I'll give you the option. Uh, I'm defeating. Then do you want me to okay. roll it now, or do you want? No, to we'll, wait do it, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it at the end. So, yeah. um, so, so, yeah. Cerise, are you hanging around, or are you going? Yeah, Cerise is going to hang around here and try to help. She does have some computer skills. So. Yep. Oh, okay. And the doc is going to get on his uh, chronocom, chronocom and yeah, just say... Wait just, ah! just wait a minute on that one before you say anything. Okay, okay. please. Just hold, hold your horses a bit. Okay, um, so the car that's carrying the other three is heading down the passageway. Um, you can just make out in the distance. You, it's probably not even worth taking a shot with. Um, there's a you can see a car a, a, a car in front of you by a fair whack. Okay, that's for the three of you in the in the in the in the monorail car. Okay. Do you want to do it? You three in the monorail car want to do anything in particular? How far? Hundred meters. Uh, Oh, it's it's right on the edge of it's right on the edge of sight. It's you know it's okay. So, I I mean we can't make it speed up as long as we we're following it. We look like we're on the same track. Yeah, at this stage, yes. Okay, then nothing really to do. All right, now Doc, could you come over to the private room, please? User yep. left your channel. Channel switched. So, what were you about to say, please? Uh, I was gonna say. Uh. Did anyone else, is anyone else feeling nauseous? The poison no, no. from, uh, no. Is anyone else feeling nauseous? These cat's claws were poisoned with a very lethal poison. Right, okay. I just wanted to, before you go blurting something out that you wouldn't necessarily know, or the others, I just wanted to confirm what you were going to say first, okay? Yeah. Well, I figure okay. the symptom of the poison is nausea, so if anyone else is nauseous, then they've been poisoned. Mm-hmm, okay. So let's go back to the main room. User left channel, channel switched. Uh, yep. So, uh, Doc, you're about to say something. Yeah, so the Doc is going to say, is anyone else feeling nauseous? The cat's claws were poisoned with a very, very lethal dose of poison. Jazz will say, I felt something. Okay, nice. well, since you're in another cart, while you're trying to tend to yourself, um, I have to tend to myself first. So, just anti-tox? Uh, diagnostic first, mate. On yourself and anyone else you, who you feel you need to do it on. Come on, roll. Okay, that's a critical fail. So as far as you're concerned, you're perfectly fine. However, I will give you a second one because the information you've just received is different from what the doc just told you. Uh, on further on further examination of your, your diagnostic skills, yes, you have been hit with a T10 DS an S10 T10 poison. Cool, lots of firsts. Uh, that's ten points of damage every round for ten rounds. 
starting from when the starting once the incubation period's over. So can I do a neutralized toxin? You can attempt to do a neutralized toxin. Can you just wait for a second? Okay, maybe not. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Um, okay, so that was you. That was you, Jazz, wasn't it? Yes. All right. Okay. No worries. Um, Doc, you were neutralizing poison on yourself, I believe, at one stage. Yep, I got three doses to get rid of. Why do you say that? Well, he doesn't know he has three doses, but... Well... Okay, so yes, um, you've... Uh, that's that one gone. Okay. Um, now, um, as Doc, as you go to... Um, as you go to uh, to give yourself a second antitox dose, which I believe is what you were planning on doing, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you take 10 points of damage, and Cat, you take 10 points of damage as you double over in pain. Cool. <laughs> Maybe not. So, um, what are you planning on doing, Doc? I'm going to go through one at a time because I need to. Well, the Doc is no use to anyone if he's unconscious and dying from poison, so he has to get himself cured first. All right, well, that's a, that's a neutralized toxin for yourself. Is it still with the minus 10? Yes. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. Uh, Cat? Mm -hmm. Um, A second wave of nausea strikes over you and you take 20 points of damage. Cerise, what are you planning on doing? What are you doing? Uh, Yellow, can I help? Doc, can I do something? Get a freeze field out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Who's got a freeze field? I'm not. I don't it. know. <laughs> I don't All think right. we have a freeze field. Uh, no, I don't think you do either, actually. Okay. Um, what about, uh, what about, we'll start with Jazz, because what are you doing, Jazz? So do I need more than one dose? Does who need more than one dose? Does Jazz need more than one neutralized toxin? Uh, you have no idea. You need to. You have to give me a. Um, you have to give me a, uh, uh, another diagnostic roll to see if you still need, still got poison in your system. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were t asking us to That was my fault. Is there anybody else in the car who was poisoned? Uh, you have no idea. Again, you'll need to do diagnostic rolls on them to no, find no, out. No, no, but ask them if they. Oh. Voke doesn't feel nauseous. Did the cats injure any of them? He got scratched very lightly by one of the cats. So there's a diagnos second diagnostic for himself. Yeah, you've got another you've got another dose in you, mate. Okay. It's it's still in its incubation period. So can I do an another neutralized toxin or do I need to wait? Hang on, hang on, hang on, slow down. I need to I need to do check with the others first. Um so, uh, Voke, you, 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 you were asked if you got uh, attacked by the cat, and you said, yes, I was. Is that right? Yeah, I took, like, was I? And what about you, Babs? Was I? Babu, what are you doing? Push the talk, mate. Wake up. <laughs> Babs? Yep. I was about to, just about to poke you. Um, as I said, um, you, um, Babu, uh, Bab, sorry, Jazz has just asked if, you, if, if you, you were attacked by the cats. No, no. Right, okay, all right. So, that's that round. I'm, I've, 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 flipped, I've flipped back into round mode, I have to for this. So, um, this next round, 
Um, what are you planning on doing, Doc? Uh, sorry, I'll start again. What are you planning on doing, Doc? Uh, well, I wouldn't know how many hit points Cat has left. So, it's, can I tell how bad of shape she's in, just from a quick uh, glance? Not from a quick glance, mate. No, it, 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 it'll require a proper diagnostic role if you're going to. Um, get any sort of detailed information. The fact of the matter is, she's doubled over in pain and writhing on the floor. That's a pretty good indication of what's wrong, considering when you went through something similar. Okay, can I stab her with a neutralized toxin? You may stab her with a neutralized toxin if you wish. Assuming you make the roll. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's that one gone. Um, cat. Cat, mm -hmm. you take a, a further 10 points of damage. Okay. Um, uh, and apart from writhing on the floor, is there anything else you, do, you would like to try to do? There will be a penalty. It will, will be a penalty to rolls involved. Uh, only saying that helped, but still sick. Yeah, good. That's great. That's great. Cerise. Um, I'll look at the computer and go, shit, I hope I don't have to do this. <laughs> um, what about you? I, Voke, I'll give Doc you... another couple minutes to resolve this. All right. Uh, Voke, what are you doing? Voke is going to check himself for scratches. Uh, yeah, well, you've got, you, you do have a scratch on your face where the, where the cat got you. Uh, he just barely got me. He's still very, yeah, he's, well, I'm just saying, you've got a scratch. You asked about scratches, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, he'll tell Jazz uh, that I got scratched. I, I, it doesn't look bad, but if it was poisoned. Okay. Yep. Um, Jazz, Jazz, what would you like to do? Uh, another neutralized po toxin on myself. On yourself, right. Okay, that's you done. Okay. Um, Cerise and Voke, you both take 10 points of damage. Joy. As the nausea starts to overwhelm you. Do you want me to roll for the neutralized poison on Jazz? I need you to roll. The, I need you to roll me a, a, a administer drugs. Yes, didn't you do? You did. Yes, you need to roll me the, the administer drugs, neutralized poison toxin. Roll. Well, that minus twenty you're under, Doc. That's gone now. Oh, the the penalties. Yes, yeah, you're back to normal. That one. So that was uh, jazz. Yes, I just took you off. That's fine. Okay, Babu. Yes, anything? sir. Doing anything apart from riding in the car and keeping an eye on the car in front of you? Keeping an eye on it. Get my sword ready. <laughs> okay. Doc, effectively a new round. Effectively, what are you doing? What are you planning on doing, Doc? It's gonna hit. Uh, cat with another neutralized toxin. Okay, you may rank that roll. Have you got enough neutralized toxin left? I don't know how much he. What is it? Is it normally, neutrad or normally, is it neutral? Neutral. neutral Antitox. Tox. Antitox. You should have ten vials. It's in, that's when it's in a standard med kit. Jazz had a lot more than that, but yeah, I don't know you had more than a standard. Got. You had more than a standard med kit. That's for starters. Um, so, Kat, that last dose of antitox, um, but you can feel the nausea slipping away from you, and you oh. take no f and you take no further damage this round. Oh, okay. Hey, isn't forty points enough? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, it's just that, that that was fail as well. Was it? Oh, it was too. Sorry. Okay. Yes, you take ten more, ten more points. Cat's unconscious. So, cat's unconscious. I'm great. That's all we need. Okay. Um, jazz. I'll do the I'll do the medicos first. Jazz. Yes. What are you doing? Diagnostic on um, Voke. On Voke, by all means, go for your life. Yep. 
Yeah, Voke, Voke is Voke is suffering from po from poisoning of some sort. Yes. Can I? Okay, then can I neutralize ne him? Next round. Okay. We're we we're, we're working we're working in second block seconds blocks of seconds only here. Okay. Um, Cerise, are you doing anything apart from doubling over? Voke, are you doing anything apart from doubling over? I just say oh, it hurts. All right, we'll both Cerise and Voke both take another 10 points each. And you've gone unconscious, have you, Cat? That's not good. Yeah, zero. Zero oh, th That's not unconscious. That's woozy. That's can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But you're still technically conscious. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, just can't do it. Can't do anything. Technically. All right. So, um, again, next round. Doc, what are you doing? Uh, well, he knows he failed to neutralize the toxin again, right? Yes. So he'll try to do it one more time. Okay. Okay, Cat, you are. Uh, you don't take any more damage this round, okay, Cat? That's yeah. good for you. Jazz, what are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. you know that Voke's been poisoned. Yep, neutralize. Okay, give me a neutralize roll. Okay, Voke. Oh, Fails oh, by oh. one. Fails by one. Uh, Cerise, um, you take 10 points. Voke, you take 10 points. Doc, you take 10 points. Cat, you're on zero points. <laughs> Which means you're conscious, but you can't do much unless you do something like give yourself a stim dose or something, or wait for the doctor to heal you, or something. Do you want to try something like that, Miss uh, Miss Hestelli? Uh, I would just be say, uh, yeah, I, I would just say I'm still woozy, I guess. Yeah, you're still woozy, but you're not poisoned at the stage as far yeah. as you're aware. Uh, Cerise, apart from doubling over, anything? No. I don't think there's any. I can't. Do anything. I mean, uh, okay. Uh, Babu, I, I'm assuming you've got your sword out and you're leaving the, the medical stuff to Jazz. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, Doc. He's going to neutralize poison on himself. Okay. Yes, that's successful. Jazz. Neutralize. On, on whom? On both. Well, there's only one person there for you, isn't there? Nope. Nope. Uh, so Cerise and Voke and Doc all take 10 points of damage. This Cerise is, getting, is unconscious. This is getting dangerous, have you noticed? Yep, Cerise is unconscious. unconscious. That's okay. Um, I'm assuming everyone's. Do I'm assuming no one else is doing any anything interesting apart from the medicos. And nope. Jazz did not take damage, right? Jazz did not take damage. Then Doc is going to neutralize poison on himself again. Okay. <sighs> Thank God. Right. Uh, that means Cerise has to take another 10 points of damage because there's no, no, nothing else you can do. Well, Doc has one hit point, so... <laughs> yeah, no, it was the right thing to do. We lose the and, Doc, we lose the two of you. And Jazz Jet. will neutralize on Voke. Okay, give me the roll. No. Voke is still standing. And, um, I, I don't know at what point Cerise dies. Uh, 30, minus 30, as per normal rules. Okay. Um, again, a stim dose or a stay dose might keep you alive a little bit longer if someone thinks to inject you with something like that. Well, uh, Kat has or, a turn. I know, Kat's got a turn, but she can't do much because she's, if she need, if, if Kat's going to do anything, she'll need to stim dose herself because she's on zero hit points. So she needs at least one to do anything worthwhile. So, Kat, you have seen Cerise go under. Would my uh, neural detecting computer have automatically administered a stim dose when that happens? Not at, zi not at zero. It goes at minus one or a bit lower, doesn't it? That's the stay dose. Not the stay dose. But I have two. One, one when I get stunned, 
and Nidus yeah. Emdos and one when I'm under zero and Un yeah, under, you're under zero, you're on zero, so you're not under zero, so you don't need the stim dose yet. You might want to reprogram that. Why? Well, it doesn't work that way. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so no, it wouldn't have. You have to do it manually. You can do it manually. You hit the slap patch. But you've got to, you've got to, you've actually got to do it manually. So is that what you're doing? Yeah, may as well. All right. Well, you get your ten points back, which puts you on ten. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Um, Voke, are you on, are you conscious still or what? Yeah. Okay. So, Doc. He's stabbing himself again with another neutralized toxin. Okay. All right, Cerise, that's another 10 points of damage. Yep. Jazz? Neutralized folk. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, that's a critical fail. Voke, you actually take 20 points of damage, 10 from the poison and 10 from the fuck up. <laughs> Excuse my French for those watching on YouTube. Still standing. Still standing. Uh, Cat, you are on 10 points. You may do something. Uh, I'd be slapping a Stados on Cerise. A stay or a stim? Uh, the stay is the one that prevents her from dying, right? Uh, yes. So not dying is the okay. plan. Okay, <laughs> so stay, a, a stay dose, a stay dose on, on, um, on Cerise. Okay. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that, that gives, I think that gives her like 24 hours or something before she actually dies. dies. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Unless the poison keeps working. Uh, what? Are, how many hit points are you on, Cerise? Or negative hit points? Uh, are you on, 22. Cerise? 22. All right, you're on minus 29 now, right? But holy, at minus 29, courtesy of the slap patch. Well, it was 22 mm -hmm. after taking damage this round. Yes, it's, oh, after damage this round. Okay, at the end of next round, you'll be on 29. Okay. Yeah. So, Doc, what are you doing? Uh, neutralize toxin on series. Okay. All right. So you're on 22, mate, and st and holding on 22. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jazz. Neutralize Voke. Thank the fine. heavens. There we go. Finally got it done. Woo! Four hit points. Three more. Uh, you, uh, you, you, you could still be poisoned for all you know. Yeah, I could. Well, I took one scratch though. The doc, the doc did say it was t it was a terribly lethal poison. Yeah, well, you, Jazz could stab me again, or he could do diagnosis next round. Uh, yeah, and let's let's call it next round. Therese, uh, uh, Jazz, you gonna do that or something else? Yeah, diagnose. Mm-hmm. No, he, 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 Voke appears to be clean. Uh, you also logically think you're clean because you haven't taken any more damage either. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the back in the main room, Doc, what are you doing? You've got an unconscious, you've got an unconscious Cerise and a woozy, um, stay dosed, uh, stim dosed induced um, cat. Okay, what are you doing, Doc? this is a game of numbers and probability now. Well, it feels like if you gave me first aid, that would be all I need to do computer stuff. That would be true. Uh, and that's all people really need me for right now, so that's fine. <laughs> Don't put yourself down. That's fine. Doc gonna is going to do hour. first aid. <sighs> okay, on, on whom? On cat, get her working on the computers. Because you're going to need the surgery, Cerise, and that's going to take minutes, so there's a natural order to this. Doc is a selfless person, so he's going to do it on Cerise. Do first aid on cat. 
if you have more poison in you, you are dead. If Doc has more poison in him, he is unconscious. This no, is a of matter of one round, which is ten seconds. Hang on a minute. Whatever. The stay dice is going to hold. Just making sure you're aware of what's going on. The stay dice is going to hold Cerise alive at minus 29 if she's still poisoned. If she's still poisoned. Okay, okay. then Doc is going to do first aid on himself. And? Then do a and, diagnosis on himself. Yeah, okay, and that's all fine. And what Cat said was true. If the if Cat's skin dose wears out before she's healed up, she's going to go unconscious herself. And then her computer will inject her. And, and her but that's inject. how long does the skin uh, dose well, last? Uh, a uh, minute. Uh, yeah. Well, the the thing is, you can only do one. You only, you only benefit one skin dose every twenty four hours. But how long does the skin dose last? Uh, about a minute or so. And there's six rounds in a minute. Uh, keen roughly. So, and the first aid is, and it, every single roll is a single round. Pretty much. I'm just letting you know what the situation is. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to do a first aid on himself, diagnose himself, make sure he doesn't have any more poison, then he's going to do a first aid on Cat. Fair enough. Because, again, he well, has one hit point. If he goes down... Yeah, yeah, I know. You're, you're fucked, I know. All right, so you get 10 points back, so you're on 11 hit points. Jazz, what are you doing? Um, gonna, uh, Babu, you didn't get a hit at all, right? No. Okay. Um, so Jazz will do, uh, first date on Voke. On Voke, all right. That's 10 points, make the roll and it's 10 points back if he makes it, Voke. Okay, so it's 10 points back for, for Voke. Right. Next round. Doc, you're going to do a diagnostic on yourself, you said. Yep. No, you you appear to, apart from being apart from ha having um, necrotic damage from the poison, you are no longer poisoned. Okay. All right, Jazz. Um, first aid on himself. Right. So ten points back if you make your own roll. Okay, ten points back for you, Doc. Uh, first aid on Cat. Right, so Cat, you'll be on 21 points, of which 10 is temporary, of course. Yeah. All right, and you, are you getting back to the bypass, or sorry, the defeating? Yeah. Right, okay. Jazz? Um, does uh, Babu need first aid? Uh, nope. You didn't take any okay. damage at all. He didn't either, okay. Um, in which case, right is there time, over the in, table. Is there time right. and means to do first aid on a uh, VOC? I'm sorry, minor, sorry, surgery? minor surgery? Well, you can do surgery in the car. It's field surgery, like everything else. But there's enough room to do it if you want to do minor or major. It's up to you what you want to do with it. But is there time? Well, that's good. Yeah, well, it's 10 minutes or so to do the surgery or whatever. Um, and you're not quite sure how far away you are from your destination. Whatever okay, destination I'll do, you're going for. I'll do minor. I'll start with minor. Well, hang on. Woo, 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 woo. If you start with minor, yeah, you can do that. You start with minor or you can start with major. It doesn't matter which way, which one you want to well, start. Well, wasn't the car rides just a few minutes? Yeah, 10, 15, depending on where you're going. So I might have time. We'll have to see. But yeah, Jazz will do minor on Vogue. Okay. Do you want me to roll that or Yes, please. I want I would like you to roll that, please. Yes. Okay, it's 20 points back Vogue. Knock off, don't forget the biocourt and the anesthetic for that one. Meanwhile, it takes 10 minutes or so. Meanwhile, back at back at the control room. Uh Doc is going to do a diagnose diagnostic on Cerise. Certainly. Uh, die, uh, 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 necrotic damage from the poison, but no longer no longer active poison. Okay. Then, since they're still doing the minor surgery, yeah. he's going to do first okay. aid on Ceres. 
Now it's 10 points back to you, Cerise. You're still unconscious, of course. So that should put you at minus 12, I believe? Correct. Right. Another, now what, Doc? Another diagnostic on Cat, because this is just six seconds compared to the 10 minutes it takes to do minor surgery. Certainly. Now, apart from, apart from the, the, the combat and necrotic damage, she's clean. Then he's going to do minor surgery on Cerise. Okay, that's 10 minutes of minor surgery on Cerise. Uh, and that's 20 points back, Cerise. That should bring you back up. Yep. Right. And then he's going to, well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll, we'll slow he down. finishes after, so. So moments after you finish the minor surgery on uh, Voke, the, um, the car arrives in the loading dock area, number three, area three. What are you guys doing? I think a room four was where we left our ship. No, room one is where you left your ship. I think there was a there was another ship there, right? So yeah. We'll, run to the, we'll go to the other ship. All right. So you're going for, you're going for four, no, room four. You're going for the shuttle in room four, are you? Yeah. Okay. So that door is locked. Okay. Um. Just hold on a sec. Um. Doc, are you doing anything now that you've finished the minor surgery on Cerise? Are you doing anything? He's going to hop on the Chronicom and say, we just barely made it through the poison in the command area. How are you guys? So that comes out of, the, that comes out of your Chronicoms, guys. Is someone going to answer? Vocal answer? Oh, hey, Doc. Yeah. You know... Jazz is an absolutely terrible medic, but, you know, other than that, we're great. You know what? Huh? What happened? Is Matt gone? Am I gone? Hello? User in your channel, time down. Uh, hey, yes. We lost Matt. Yep. I just had a great conversation with myself, too. Well, at least Jazz's dice rolled sucked, and Doc had great dice rolls. That's what we needed. Like we lost connection. Yep. Yep. It'll be great when uh, Matt's running on his home internet connection, for the team speak server, and we all can't talk at this point. And it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> you, should get, you should have a Discord server and, you know, just as a backup. Yeah. But hey, you know, the doc did great on his antitoxins. If he didn't, if he screwed up on like one of those rolls, someone would be dead. Yeah. If he screwed up more than once, he only screwed up once with a 78. And he well, did he... nine antitoxins, nine rolls. Well, he could have, he, he could have let um, Cat take two more rounds of damage. Yeah, he could have. But yeah. But you know, I didn't want to get Dot's character killed. But then again, he's a selfless person, so. No, it no. He had to neutral. He had to keep himself alive so he could keep everybody else alive.
I think I missed four roll, four neutralized poison rolls on Folk. Yeah, I was at, I was 64 out of 65 when I got poisoned, so I had all the hit points. Boke's going to have to be the one to pick the lock. He is. He's not terrible at it, unless it's a level 6, in which case, haha, good, good run, he's gone. Didn't uh, Jazz pick up some explosives somewhere? Does, but that would blow the airlock. Okay. I don't know what happened then, guys. I dropped out for some reason completely. Lost everything. Oh, I need to find the game video so I can... There we go. It's all right. We... Okay. Um, so, last thing was... Yeah, you're all connecting back up again. I don't know what happened then. Very unusual. Um, we were just joking about how amazing it'll be when we also lose the TeamSpeak server when this happens to your internet, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, that happens sometimes. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, um, I don't know I, there was no reason for that. I couldn't work out what was happening. Literally, I don't know why we dropped. Just, I, think we might, I think my ISP might have had, might have had a con connection. It's the only thing I can think of. Anywho, um, so you three guys are at this, at, at this locked door. The other three guys are back in the computer room. Um, and um, Doc's just asked if, any, if everybody's okay, and Vokes just answered, yeah, sort of. That was the last thing I heard. Uh, uh, Voke answered, yeah, we're all good here. But, you know, Jazz is a, he insulted Jazz. He said Jazz was terrible, took so long to administer an uh, antitoxin. You know, I I was just having a conversation with myself, really. Yes, I yes we know we very unusual. Um, so what are you guys uh, doing? Um, oh yeah, and Cap. By the way, if you blow that door, you blow one of the two doors for the airlock, which means then you can't open the other door without depressurizing the entire base. Yeah, well, you probably not. If if he's already gotten through the second one and into the ship, you're probably not going to be able to stop him. Maybe, maybe not. It takes a while to prep a ship. Don't forget. Um, yeah. so what are you three doing in the in the loading dock area? Both will try to pick the lock. Okay, go for your life. Uh, Abu will try to keep guard while he's doing it. So he's Mm -hmm. One of the other doors in there. Okay, you managed to uh, you managed to get the airlock door unlocked. Are you moving through? Yep. All right. Um, there is pressure on the other side of the door. Meaning Have that. Door. Oh right, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to zoom in a bit here. If there's Can pressure on the other side the... of the door, then that means that I don't need a breathing suit to go there, right? That's right. Okay. Can, Sorry. can we keep the this side door open so that if it starts to depressurize, we can retreat to the airlock? Uh, yeah. I don't see why not. So, what are you guys doing? You, you're going into the airlock and through it? Yep. yep. Right, well, as, as you are aware, an airlock will not open, it will not work if both doors are open. Yeah, I know. We're, we're going to keep the one, the, the second one open. Which, which oh, the, the, one, the, south, the southern door open? Yeah, the southern one open. Right, I'm just going to move you guys down there. Okay, you cycle through the airlock and... Um, Um, as the door opens, um, I'm assuming you're leading Vokes, is that right? Yeah. Sure. He's leading. Uh, two laser pistol blasts strike you, uh, from t towards the nose of the ship. Uh, one does, uh, 29 points. 
and the other one does 19 points. And I'll get initiatives off the three of you, please. Ah. Don't forget to rage, Jazz. And beat him senseless. Uh. Here's a minus 12 initiative. Just helping me out there. Who's the range? Because he has to monologue every turn before he shoots. <laughs> Does he now? Well, well, well. You thought you could stop me. What the hell? Oh, that's what's wrong. No, he doesn't monologue. He just shoots you again. Um, he's a very good shot. Uh, the first one does 28 points, and the second one does, oops, got the wrong dice. The is second Vokes one does, token there? hey? Is Vokes token in the right place? I no, I'm not him. there. You are, he's just under everybody else. There you go, is that better? No, I'm not there. You are there. I've got you in screen. We don't see him. How's that? No. Can't see that at all. I can just do a circle. Nope. No, but I'm, you should be visible. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, no, I understand. But no, we don't see him. Oh, hang on a second. We'll do it this way. I'll reload it. Oh, and Doc disappeared for me. Oh, must have been for my... Uh, user account whatever yeah no it must be when you when you when you reset anyway there you go that you can you see that now good yep right so it was showing up for me it wasn't showing up for you um uh, and the second shot does 32 points of laser damage so that's 60 points total or two actually it's 28 and 32 is what it is yep all right so um hang on let's get this going at the range jazz what are you doing Oh, uh, he's gonna run in and run it, run at him. Try to rage and uh, let's see, one, two, three. He should be able to get to him with his movement and attack. Oh yeah, yeah. So here's a rage attempt. Yep. And then sword. And he's trying to get around to the side so somebody else can attack him too. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second before you do the damage. Oh. Sorry. All right, we'll take that as it is. Um, right. Um, he throws his uh, his left arm up at the sword blow, and the sword only does half damage. Okay. Uh, so that's eleven points. Uh, which is okay. That's you, Jazz. In the turn, Babu. What are you doing? Oh, can you give me a quick spot uh, check too, please? Yeah, uh, Jazz. Am I supposed to do it? Or just um, you can, yeah, no, I want Jazz to give me a spot check, but you you take your action while that's happening. All right. So I've seen Jazz move towards. We are shooting lasers over there, correct? Yep. Yep. Is the craft on like landing gear that I could slide underneath the craft to go straight there? Uh you'd use all your movement doing it, but yes. You wouldn't get an attack in this round, but yes. So if I move if I basically move uh, let me move me in or point to it and tell me if I can make that and that's a valid move. Are you thinking about going underneath the, underneath the shuttle to there, are you? Yeah. Yeah, that's a double yeah, move. Very good. But that's, but, that's all, but that's all That's all. your move. You can't do an attack this All way. right. All right. Hopefully okay. it distracts him a bit from 
jazz and I see what's on that side of the shuttle. Yeah, uh, not much. Um, the shuttle's in prep mode. There. He's obviously been prepping it, fueling it, prepping it, ready, getting it ready to go. Okay. Yep. Vote. Oh, uh, Jazz. Um, his left arm is partially metal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, vote. What you doing? Well. Is the shuttle door open? Uh, you can't see the shuttle door from your side. Where would the shuttle door be? Near the... Obviously on the other side. Oh, well. Obviously. Yeah, he'll go to the find the shuttle door. All right. Somewhere over that side. Fine. Yep. Uh, initiates, please, gentlemen. Vokes on a 14. Jazz is on a 15. Baboo's on an 11. And Lagrange is on a 19. Right. Um, Lagrange knows martial arts, obviously, apparently, because <laughs> uh, he, he, he very quickly punches you twice in the face, Jazz. Okay. Uh, the first one does 24 points of damage, and the second one does 17 points of damage. Okay. Um, which is, as you should be aware by now, a lot more than a punch should be normally be able to do. Yep. And he swears at you. Just so I mentioned that. You're up, uh, Jed. Um, sorry, I'm still trying to do the math on the other one. <laughs> okay. So 24 and 17. Yep. That's okay. When Babu shoves a force axe in Lagrange's booty, it won't be armored. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, um, can I get a... Uh... Reaction can speed? I get... Yeah, give me a reaction speed from both you and Babs, please. Right. Right. Hang on a sec. Does Lagrange have to? Yeah. No, no. I, I, uh, yeah, it's all right. Okay. Um, as you swing the sword, Lagrange semi deflects it and deflects it towards Babu. I do need you to make me a. I do need you to make me a, a damage roll, please. A full damage roll, but we'll halve it in the end. So that's 14 points of force axe damage to you, Babu, as Lagrange deflects the force axe into you. Along with the terrible roll that, that Jazz, uh, sorry, Sonic Attack, it is not a force axe. Yeah, so that's it's straight a 14. It's a straight, four, it's a straight 28 points of damage. No, uh, straight 14 points of damage, yes, you're right. Uh, vote. All right. Is there a way to secretly, like, is our Chronicoms like an earpiece, or is it just like, you know, like, like a, a handheld phone. device? It's a radio phone on your wrist, basically. Oh, okay. So, I basically, well, then I'll say swap screens, and he'll flick to an inertia screen, his inertia screen, and he will, is the shuttle door open? Uh, yes. Sabotaging, it's probably going to take too long. Um, it's going to take it's going to take several minutes. Yes. Is there an opening least, for a third least. person in the melee? Uh, Just to the yeah. right of Bab. Bab. Yeah, around here somewhere there probably would be. Wouldn't matter anyway because switching screens takes the whole round. Yeah. Does it? Okay. Well, uh, can he move or now? Nope. 
No, he can't switch screens. Yeah, he's switching screens to inertia. All right, no worries. Um, Babu, what are you doing? Apart it from seems tackies. dangerous. I'm going to swing. You're going to what? I'm going to swing at him. Oh, swing. I thought you said something else. I, didn't, wasn't, I wasn't sure what you said, but I, it, didn't, it didn't sound like swing. <laughs> nice. Damage. Okay, he doesn't deflect any of that, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on your point of view. Okay. My point of view says fortunately. <laughs> okay. Uh, initiatives, please, for the three of you in the fight. I haven't forgotten you guys in the comms room. I'm just waiting for a couple of rounds to go before we get back to you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I think but... it's only for Cat Cat's because he's the only one not running two characters at the moment. Yeah, I know. It's a pain. Sorry about that, Cat. Yeah. And Babs are on 12. And Lagrange is on... Uh, is 14. Still goes first. Um, again, another two quick bashes in the face uh, of um, of um, Jazz. Uh, the first one definitely hits. Uh, the second one hits with a martial arts blow. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Um, so um, the first punch does 25 points of damage. The second punch does... Uh, 22 points of damage. And that's to Jazz? That's to Jazz. And then I need you to make me a current stamina roll once you've taken the necessary damage, please. Uh, he's unconscious. Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. Uh, so Lagrange turns quickly to face... Um, uh, Jazz Babu. is unconscious. Babu. Let me put that out of the way. Sorry, let me get this to Babu. Actually, it's Vokes. Vokes got the action. I think both has the action. Yeah. Uh, is can he since Jazz is on the ground? Can he squeeze nope. around? Uh, well, he doesn't know Jazz is on the ground. You were planning on going to um, to the right the of Bab, Bab, but yeah. Well, once you get around the side of Bab, you can see that Jazz okay. is on the ground. Then yeah, he'll just do his attack. Okay. And miss. And miss. Babu. And he's facing me now, so I'm going to swing again. Okay. <laughs> I need a reaction speed check off you. I need a reaction speed check off Voke, and I'm going to give one for Lagrange. He's going to try oh. that sword into the into the other people person trick again. You know what? We're going to be the ones to kill ourselves, not him. Yeah, yeah. Babu, I need you, I need you to make me damage roll, please, mate. Voke. And he's Point, down. Uh, 18 points of damage. Oh, just 18? Uh, not not the full? No, just 18. Okay, then he's not down. Just 18. Uh, that's initiative for the next guy, next round, please. Um, when you say you're down, Jazz, do you mean unconscious down or what? Uh, minus, minus 15. All right, well, you're going to take one from now on every round. You're going to take an extra point of damage until you die or in first aided or stim dosed or stay dosed. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. And I'll tell you what, Lagrange is quick, very quick. If you haven't noticed, right? He's gonna he's gonna punch you twice in the face, Babu. Uh, hits twice. There's no chance of knockout, which is uh, which is a benefit. Uh, the first punch does twenty three points of damage. The second punch only does seventeen. This guy's got a phenomenal punch score, by the way. In case you're wondering. Yeah. 
So you're up, Babu. At least his name is not Saitama. No. Uh, give me a minute to cipher out this damage here. Okay. Which can it, it's it's bludgeoning damage, so skin suit should help. Almost. <laughs> That's why I switch screens. Quarter of the damage is much better than half. Okay, my turn. Uh, yes, your turn. Uh, I mean, sorry. For what it's worth, duck boat, I'm swinging again. <sighs> Well, it's you should swing now and switch screens if you're one hit away from down from being down. Oh, and Lagrange goes down. Oh, thank God! I thought I was gonna have to say you you can leave, and as I pull their two corpses into the airlock. Yeah, I think Lagrange goes down. Um, Cat, you finish your bypass. What would you like to do? Your defeat security, sorry, not your bypass. What would you like to do? Uh, stop the missile. Okay, well, how do you plan on doing that? Because you don't know what's on the computer first, so you're going to have to do at yeah, least an... I a, mean, any... l l yeah, listing the functions and seeing All if right. there's robotic yeah. controls. And yeah, going okay, so yeah. make the roll for the display info. And change guidance, maybe aim it at the sun. Uh, yes, it has got a, a, a robotics uh, a, a control program on it. The robotics control program uh, is level four. You want an operate to divert it away from the planet? Uh, well, it'll be a, it'll it'll be a, a, a an op, a, a use software. Yeah, an operate software. I guess a level four. Uh, what do you want? You know, the question is, what are you doing? You're trying to self-destruct it, divert it away from the planet. Um, what are you trying to do? How far away is it from the planet? Uh, about and it's still about two an hour and a half, just under an hour and a half. Yeah, I I think I'm more inclined to have it go. Some... What other things are there in this system? Uh, pretty much the security and the robotic control. That is pretty uh, much the, it. the solar the the act the star system like it. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, yeah. misunderstood you. Yeah. Um, there are two moons um, and a couple of planets, yeah. and the sun, and the solar system, and the the star, yeah. and it's an asteroid belt, I think, from memory as well. And from my from my understanding of going through all the the the, the virus, um, do I know how deadly it would be to a different planet? Like, is it is it going to be bad if it lands somewhere else? Well, it won't be good. It won't be as catastrophic as Caritar. Because there was something about the atmosphere that it was the yes, the main it was something that, that was the main thing. So yeah. whether the same, whether the same, whatever it is in the atmosphere of other planets, it, it, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I just I just realised that I'm pro, I'm not really the the astrogator that I want to become yet. Not, not so, yet. So, so do it, doing the calculations to point it at the sun is probably beyond my capabilities. Oh, uh, no, I'll, gi I'll give you a roll for it. I'll give you a roll for it. Doc will ask, "What are you, are you able to get into the rocket? Yes, I'm there. Um, I need you to knock off a couple of hit points, please, Jazz, because these guys are standing around and not helping you. Yeah, I, oh, I thought we were. I thought you were doing cat and not. Sorry, no, I should have. I should have said. Um, yeah, the Voke will do a a state. Well, if I do a stim dose, does that bring him conscious, even if he's under? It, it, it will. Yeah, it's eighteen points back for a stay dose. For a stim dose. Okay, so then he'll stay do a stay dose. First. Stabilize him first. I know. He'll do a stay dose. Okay, so you are stabilized and not losing any more hit points. Yep. So while you're making your mind up what to do, Cat, I'm just going to concentrate on this for a second. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what are you actually doing? Because he's the he's the medic, remember? In the group. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll try a stem dose. If he doesn't wake up from that, then we need Doc. You'll have to, yep, you'll need the Doc. So give me give him a stay dose. 
You want to put a state act on, on the Rhine, Lagrange there? Okay. Mm -hmm. You got enough state doses? Dim doses? Yep, state that doses? was all my state doses. Okay. Make sure so you Lagrange. bind him up. Yeah, I know. And I don't. Uh, I'll, I can go find some rope. <laughs> yeah, buy some rope. Or it's some duct tape, you know. Actually, not some duct. Yeah, um. Oh, he's got metallic arms. How am I going to bind him? He's got partial metallic arms. Oh, I know. I got I got the maglev boots. I'll do something with those. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> if I attach it to his arm, it makes his arm really heavy, no? I don't think that's going to work. That did. I'll find, I'll, can I staple him? I have extra staples. Can I staple him to the floor? I don't think that's going to work either. Meanwhile, Kat, have you made your mind up what you want to try and do yet? Well, I, I, I thought about it in my head, and it's like, well, if it doesn't have enough fuel to reach the surface of the planet, it's not going to have enough fuel to reach the, the, the sun. Um, but, so it's going to be a very... If, if I mess this up, as long as it's pointed far away from Kratar, I guess that's good enough. What, okay. what, what self-destruct me mechanism does it have on it? Uh, it, does have a self, it does have a self-destruct me mechanism. If you are successful in an operate, the operate robot management program, you can yeah. set the, the missile will blow up. And that will vaporize the virus? Or, well, the yeah. virus won't survive in vacuum. Okay, because I thought viruses were pretty inert. It depends on the virus. This one won't. Okay, sweet. Well, it, it, that's probably better than uh, gambling on calculations. <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, give me an operate computer against level four. Operate program against level four. And the computer reports that it's lost telemetry link to the missile. Nice. Uh, I'll say over the Chronicom, the missile's blown up. Folk will oh, respond. Uh, Jazz is down, but we stopped Lagrange. Excellent. Uh, so, I, 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 the doc would have heard that, so I'll say yeah. we'll get. I'll double check the missile being destroyed, and we'll get on the next uh, monorail out to the shuttle bay. Yep. Okay. Doc will go call the shuttle. All right, got, Doc will go call a, 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 a car. Um, you want to give me an operate computer, uh, an operate uh, uh, display info role, please? Yeah. Against against level four. Yeah, you're pretty sure the missile's been blown up. It just hasn't yeah. lost tech to country. It's, it's, it's gone. Yeah. It's what the, you're being reported to. Uh, what I would like to do, it, it, actually, even if I don't have time, I'll get the next shuttle car. Uh, I would like to get any collect any evidence from this computer onto my file comp uh, proving... Lagrange's involvement and plans here. All right. Well, you can. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's a two roles. It's a it's a link computer role. Doc is also going to search room twenty two, which you're not successful. Um, there's nothing in the. There's nothing worth talking about in the um, in room twenty two for the search role. And I thought you went to get a car. Yeah, but he has to wait for it. Yeah. And if um, Kat's going to be so a while. What do, you, what do you want to do now, Kat? Cerise can try to link the computer. I don't think I'm going to be successful, but I do have one level. Okay. Well, if you've got a level of skill, you can certainly try. In fact, even if you don't have any skill, you can certainly try. It's just there's a penalty to do it. Interface computer. That's the one. Yep. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so that's a display info role to do the transfer. Amateurs. <laughs> Are you going to take that from a, from a, a bug, cat? It's fine. it's fine. How many times okay. do, do I fail at a lock? And, <laughs> I know, uh, I know, I know. And okay, then boat managed... comes up and it's like, ah, easy peasy. Yeah, you're right. You managed to transfer the, data, uh, the relevant data across your, to your, um, uh, your mini comp. Sweet. I say, I got all the evidence we need. Let's blow out of this joint. Right. Uh, so 10, 15 minutes later, you join the guys in Shuttle Bay 4. 
Lagrange is unconscious. Jazz is unconscious. Yep. Uh, Babu's taken a few, a few what look like sonic sword attacks, and Vote's taken it. You know, so. Do I need to do a diagnosis uh, first on them? Tatters. Uh, yes, you do, mate. So first is Babu. Actually, first is Jazz because he's unconscious. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we were a proper hey. murder hobos, we'd be looting this joint right now. <laughs> Why aren't we doing that? <laughs> because we don't want the we want to get the party whole again. Because you know you never split the party. What did we do? We split the party, and we almost all died of poison. We're lucky yeah, you, that we split yeah, Jazz and Doc. Yeah, you were very lucky you split Jazz and Doc. I thought I was going to lose at least one or, one or two of you then. That poison was nasty. Okay, okay so ten points. Either. Yeah, ten points back to uh, to um, Jazz for the first aid. Now this is on Babu. Uh, yep, Does he get double? Ten, no. Aww. Ten points back to you, Babu. Voke. And ten points back to Voke. And the first aid. Cer Cerise, no, Cerise has been healed, haven't you, Cerise? Yeah, he was. Uh, he got a minor surgery. Minor yeah. surgery for Jazz. Okay. And 20 and points back to Jazz. major surgery for Jazz? We should have done the major surgery first. A lot of people. Well, I was just to get people up. Do we all want to be fully healed? Because that's going to take a long time. That's and right. there's the still time. probably people in the base. Well, there's no reason why you can't load up on your own shuttle and do it while you're flying back. It's a six-hour flight, don't forget. Well, the, do we want to clear out the rest of the base, or we just want to leave? We can loot the place. I, I think we can loot the place. I don't know what else there is to take. There's, uh, according to schematics, I think we have, uh, there's engineering and labs. Um, don't you think that might be classed as tampering with evidence? It is probably. Uh, yeah, well, we're co probably going to call the you know who. And besides, our I shuttle is loaded it. with sup military supplies. Cat would I be more after. Yeah, no, those. Let's just not do any. Yeah, yeah. I think Steel we already called. Siphoning money from the evil corporation would be fun, but let's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are you, are you leaving the base? Yes, we got the evidence we need. Hopefully this grumpy cop will give us a bit of a bonus. Well, we have... Our shuttle is full of weapons. Don't forget that. Yeah. Look, yeah. We, ha we can sell the weapons. I mean, it's... If we're allowed to keep them. So on the flight... So on the flight back to um, the planet, courtesy of Ricky, um, are you getting on the subspace? Yeah. And what, and what are you saying to um, your security friend when you eventually raise him? Well, didn't we already send out a, a emergency beacon broadcast? I can't, I can't remember. Possibly. I think we did. I think on the emergency UPF channel, we sent out something. Yeah, well, so you, better we'll... Send something, you better send something else out to let them know the friendlies are coming in. Yeah, exactly. So I think we need to, you know call out on that once we launch mm -hmm. and say, hey, we believe we've neutralized the missile. We believe we've neutralized the base. We, we have the leader the in custody. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's actually a good place to leave it because we've been going for four hours. Are we okay to leave it there until next week, next fortnight? Yeah. Sounds good. All Sounds right, guys. Good. Thank you. For, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for playing. Um, I'll award some uh, experience points at the start of next um, next session. Remind me if I forget, please. Um, right. But thanks for, thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. You can roll those credits, guys. We'll see everyone in two weeks' time, barring an yep. absence. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch. And of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. 
I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.